Okay. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, you five are adventurers. Uh, you have come, you have teamed up and traveled to the deep city of Blindenstone in search of fame and fortune, and perhaps to do a little good on the way. Um, you guys have traveled uh, from the surface, um, far away from the sun, um, deep underground for about two weeks you've been traveling. traveling. Uh, you start on the Iron Ascent, uh, which is or Mount, um, uh, Mount uh, Arkillo. And you, uh, you've basically been traveling in a downward spiral for, spire for about two weeks straight. Um, you have a small uh, Svrf Nebdin guide. Um, he's been he's been pretty good so far. He's uh, he's he's able to he will, during the trip he's been able to find you uh, like mushrooms and things of that nature that you guys can eat. And uh, and uh, what's the word? Not explosive, but um, fl flammable manure. You guys could cook your uh, like beetle manure. You guys could cook your food on. Um, so he's, he's, he's been quite good on keeping you, uh, you five alive during the journey. But, um, your journey's almost at an end, as he says. Uh, he pointed to the top of the stairs and said, uh, Blindenstone is just on the other side. And, um, you believed him at first, but after two hours of straight climbing, you, uh, you stopped. You stopped, you lost hope. <laughs> um, but you guys can, uh, as you guys approach, you start to hear noises up ahead. It sounds like arguing. Um, so, uh, so you guys are excited to be at the top of the stairs, um, but you feel like there are eyes on you. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? Can, you, you said we've been traveling in a spiral, or is this staircase just um, straight? You guys were traveling in a spiral down, um, when you left the, uh, the mountain. But then you guys had to go through some various paths, like smaller kind of, uh, areas to go distance-wise. Um, the kind of lateral. And um, now you guys had to go up again, and it's just been a straight staircase up for about for, two hours. You said it for about two hours, can we see the bottom of the stairs, or is it just black? Um, it is black. It, even if you have dark vision, um, you can only see well, like sixty feet. Um, well, it's I'll just use, pitch can black. I use my light? Can't trip. Um, it? sure. Um, you you uh, when you when you touch your light onto to make a light. Uh, to my uh my uh holy emblem thing that I haven't figured out what I'm taking yet. Cool. Um, so you touch <laughs> I haven't your, got that far yet. <laughs> cool. Uh, you touch your holy emblem and you basically point it down the stairs and you can see the light gives out far before you can see the bottom of the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Um, however, um, when, you, when you point up, you do notice that the stairs seem to stop. Um, I'll show you. You point it upwards. The stairs, stairs seem to stop right about there. Zoom out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, so, like, so we should all have night vision, right? Um, a I large portion of you. Uh, everyone except for dragon. Do. Everyone except for the dragonborn, I believe. I'm not sure if uh, dragonborn okay. do it. No, I think I'm, I think he has some type of vision. Uh, let me just take it out real quick. Uh, Delk, you have nope, no dark vision. Oh damn. Uh, but he does. He can uh, vomit acid on people. Ew. That's a good compensation. <laughs> well, well, he's he's part. He's got dragon blood in him, so he can. But he can't produce fire, so he basically just sprays his stomach acid. Still effective. All right. So, so what do you guys want to do? So we just move up the stairs. I, that's my vote. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. My preference is always to move one space at a time. Instead of just teleporting. So feel free to move. Yeah, well, I'm uh, still in my character sheet, so I'll move when I get a chance here. No problem. <sighs> yeah, um, cool. Well, you guys keep going. Can't, uh, are we close enough to distinguish words said in the argument? Or can um, we even understand the language? Uh, it appears to be in a gnomish language. Does anyone speak gnome? I doubt it. Well, but, um, yeah, so after, after some... Year. Hmm? Um, after some time, you actually hear somebody, uh, somebody yell, uh, halt, in a very high voice from above you. Right about right. there. Uh, with your night vision, uh, he's about 15 feet up in the air. Uh, you can see him, and he says, uh, who goes there? Uh, just a random party of people. <laughs> or I, I look at him and say, just a random party of people, uh, looking to profit from... The uh, revitalization of the Gnomish city. 
Hmm. Hopefully, no drow among you. Uh, no. No, sir. Kyle mm. kind of, kind of looks down, down his nose at you, and he kind of shrugs his head for you guys to move on. Pointing that way. He, uh, he kind of undraws his bow. Uh, all right. Uh, are we? Can we distinguish? Can we? Can we see the people arguing yet, or no? Uh, no. Once you get to the top, you'll be able to see. Them. Can we distinguish how many people are arguing? Uh, it sounds like three. three. All right. I kind of just grunt and like, push past him. Excellent. Ah, <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, go ahead and keep walking. Don't be afraid to. Okay, cool. Uh, boom. Um. Can I move Aragorn just to like join with us since he's still in his character sheet? Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's for it. one of the benefits of everybody uh, being able to control everybody. Um, you. As you reach <laughs> the top, you're able to see a gigantic stone, uh, just a gigantic uh, steel, or rather, uh, gate in your way. Uh, clearly, with a, with a large um, title over it saying uh, Blinden Stone. As you look over to your left, you see the very small guard that uh, yelled at you before. Um, over here you can see uh, about three uh, small small gnome traders. Uh, they appear to have had some problems. They are, their cart apparently hit the wall and then tipped over. Uh, they over encumbered themselves and it was too uh, heavy on the left and fell over. Uh, they're struggling trying to pull it back up. Um, some guards kind of try to assist them but they're having difficulty as they are all yelling at one another. Uh, anyone who would look over to the left would see a massive uh, turning um, gear that is uh, bringing uh, items up from far below. Um, at the moment you see it, you envy those who get it come up in such a cart, because you wouldn't have to go through a two-hour walk, or climbing stairs. Aww. <laughs> I just walk up to the cart, and I just lift up the side. Cool, cool. Uh, give me a strength check. Alright. Um, if you're proficient in athletics, I will allow it. Athletics? Alright, yeah. cool. So right, it's two, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, so I roll it twice and keep the thing. Um no no uh just roll once you don't right, get cool. attached. Um yeah uh the guy the the snurf open kind of open their eyes wide as this massive uh orc twice their size grabs onto the bottom of the cart and just just easily lifts it back up. Um you see as you lift it up a small kind of um. What's the word? A small barrel uh, lands on your chest, and you kind of just catch it with one hand, and then continue pushing it up with your left. <laughs> and, well, um... The... No. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was going to say, I'm not about to be shown up by an orc, so... Uh, I'm going to come over here and help pick up all their heavy gear as well. That fell cool, cool. Uh, you see one particularly okay. large um, barrel? It appears to be filled with ale. All right, uh, I'm proficient in athletics, so I'm just going to lift it up cool. with a single arm. Oh, single arm? Disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, shit. I uh, thought. All right, do I have to roll for that? You're, yeah, roll, uh, disadvantage means you roll twice and take the lower result. So just what, 2d20? Uh, it would be 1d20 plus 5, so roll that twice. 12, not bad. And... 19. So yeah, 12. With 12 is great. Um, so you okay. lift it up with one hand, you kind of give him a snare, uh, as a, as kind of a sneer as you throw the uh, throw the barrel back into the cart one-handed. Um, the the three Snare Fnemblins seem very appreciative, and they uh, they thank you for your aid. I don't respond to them, and I just return to the party. <laughs> You're kind of a uh, I, I, <laughs> I help them with their cart. What were they what we want? What more I do you want from in him? some sort of nonchalant dwarven motion and return to the party as well. Cool. Okay, um, so um, your small Shrift Nebbin guide uh, points to right here, and uh, points to the door, and he says, uh, we'll be going through the maze now. A maze? So we're skip you said we're I thought you were skipping the maze. Um, I, as a DM, I said you're skipping a maze. Uh, you have to get through, through the maze to get into the place. Um, okay. You guys will be skipping the mazes, and you'll go through it, but you won't actually see it because it's very large, and it would be an extra five minutes of time I want to deal with. Um, you know, but I will tell you about some you see in the maze while you're there. Okay. All right. If you get in there, does it return to the age of year or something? Yeah. So I guess just so. 
can we proceed? Just go through. Yeah. Um, Shrug and follow the guy. Um. Yep. He 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 basically tugs on one of these guys' um on one of the guards' um uh, cape, and he points to the door. Uh, the guard goes over it and taps three times with a spear onto the door, and eventually it opens. Uh, on the other side, you see about um three Spark Nebulon guards. I'll just uh, reveal them. Mm -hmm. Uh, they open the door, and um, he starts leading you through a wide, a long, and twisting maze. Still just following the, the guide. Uh, it is uh, Sverf Neblin. Sverf okay. Neblin. <laughs> okay. Sverf Neblin. Sverf Neblin. Sverf Neblin. Okay, um, so let's see here. Ooh. All right. You guys are all super perceptive. Um, so uh, Levelys is kind of leading the way in kind of a competition with um, uh, Shakan. Um, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying so hard at some points to actually get ahead of the guide who kind of shakes his head and tries pulling him back. Um, after a small period, um, Aragon, Shak, uh, Aragon, Delk, and uh, Gr Grayson, Gracery looks like an R. Graceris. Graceris, thank you. Uh, Graceris kind of all stuff, and you look to your left, and you see in the middle of this uh, of, of this long dungeon or long um, what's the word uh, maze? It appears to be a treasure chest just hanging off about twenty feet away from you. Ooh. Uh, sorry, what was that? There appears to be a treasure chest about twenty feet off your, the path you're taking. I like treasure. I like treasure too. Um. I don't see an alignment in my character. It's probably um, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't believe in alignment. So if you okay. want an alignment, go for it. But uh, alignment, all, it, for me, is only it's just a trap. Okay. It's, a, it's a way to get players to act the way they wouldn't. Yeah, the uh, chest probably be trapped, just so you guys know. Yeah, um, my question is, who has like the best perception? <laughs> Um, I have like two. <laughs> Alright, I get the bonus. I'm not trained in perception. I, I can am. yell at it a lot and try to get it to open. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would fail a perception check because I tried on the uh, on the book before and failed. <laughs> so a d20 plus the bonus, right? Yeah, so d20 plus your wisdom. If you guys want, I can just smash through it. Uh. Oh, you might wrist. smash whatever's in it, though. Wow, I did really good on that. It's always a chance. Yeah. Hey, uh, you look at it, and you can see it is clearly a wooden chest. It's got some iron on it. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got like an iron kind of, uh, what's the word? Um, kind of, yeah, manting, manting, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, what do you guys want to do? Want to just keep following your guide, or...? So where did my character go? Uh, yeah, your, your, character's, your character's in the shadow, don't worry about it. Okay, so I think I think money, 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 money. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I I vote for monies. Cool. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I pinged you to where your characters are, despite being in the darkness. Um, so you guys, do you guys want to go for it? Yeah. Um, sure. I want to stand back and <laughs> not partake. Cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys where you are then. Uh, You're in the middle of this maze. Oh no. And uh, you guys can clearly see the treasure chest is right here. Okay. Um, so who who was the one that tried that? That's like right next to it, doing the perception check. Um, I believe it was. Maybe nothing. I mean, I'm all for it. About it. Go for it. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure it was a dwarf who looked. You leave my elf eyes out of this. <laughs> oh, fine. I mean, if no one's gonna open it, I'm gonna walk up I'll and I try to... I'm backing away. Oh, well, somebody sent me a Skype thing. I'm just saying, if no one's gonna open it, I will. Can I like try to like raise my axe and just chop the chop the lock off? Ah, uh, you can't see a lock. There's no lock on it. Ah, uh, there's no lock that you can see. There's no like um, uh, padlock or anything. You know what? Might, might uh, please, you can go first. You can try to open it. All right. Uh, I'm let I walk you do this. I walk up to the chest and 
and I, cool. I, I, I bump it with the butt of my axe. Just bump. Cool. Uh, you give it a good pump, and nothing seems to happen. You know, it's just uh, uh, just chilling there. All right, so I, I kind of, you know, hesitantly uh, touch the chest with my hand cool. and lift, lift the lid. Cool. Uh, you grab on the lid, and as you open it up, you see just a writhing maw of teeth. Shit. Uh, roll for initiative. <laughs> roll for what? It's a Sorry. mimic. Uh, roll for initiative. Uh, so basically, I uh, roll one d twenty, uh, and add you add your dexterity modifier. Dexterity. All right. Awesome. And this is why I backed away. Shit. Yeah. Really. What you should have done is yelled at your team, "Do not go for that. It's obviously <laughs> a mimic." I got mimics generally two. drop good treasure. Two. So. Oh. Slay it. I don't know. We're good. All right. Uh, plus dexterity, right? I do suck. Uh, plus, yeah, plus dexterity. Um, you'll be able to see your characters on the left. You can input them. Uh, just click on the number, and that uh, input what yours is. I just whiffed. I got a two. Ooh, you only got eight, though. Okay, um, so, uh, Leslie, what'd you get? Oh, good. Uh, Delk? You got 19, I'll just put it in for you. Uh, Chrysaris? Uh, uh, 5. <laughs> Aragorn? 4. 4. Wow, you guys are bad, Les. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so he gets a surprise round because you kind of open it up and it just jumps at you. So, uh, Lovelies, he's going to try to, uh, knot you with his massive, uh, teeth. Ooh, uh, does a 15 hit your AC? Uh, uh, no, I'm 17. Cool, so, uh, basically he starts, he grabs at your arm and just starts gnawing, but your bracers are pure metal, and they appear to be breaking his teeth before they actually break through your steel, um, steel bracers. Uh, Delk, you're up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what do you want to do, Delk? Um, is he weak to any type of element? Uh, you can give me a nature check try to figure it out. Well, he's made out of wood, so... I mean, yeah. Or does he only appear to be made out of wood? Oh, uh, you can give me a nature check, and as an action, I'll tell you. Yeah, so basically, I'll just hit him with a, basically, you take, with you take your turn to put your, your finger on your chin and think. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Delk... Delk had an yeah. attack just now. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna use my Ray of Frost. Nice. Give me a roll. Alright, 1d8. Cool. Hmm. So I got a you, you, you have to hit first. You have to roll a 1d20 plus your um oh. plus your intelligence modifier plus two, which is your proficiency bonus. How do you how do you check proficiency? Uh, proficiency at level one is always plus two. Um, okay. as, that's assuming that you're proficient in whatever you're doing. Okay. If if, uh, if Levelies tries to stealthily sneak past someone, he's not going to be proficient at. He's a dwarf. And he's okay. wearing heavy armor. But I, I am very acrobatic. Though. Oh. True. Um, so 16. Uh, that's going to hit him. No, that's going to get past him. So you deal six point of damage to him, and as well, he turns blue with cold. Um, just gonna, um, Speed oops. slowed by ten. Exactly. Ah, uh, shock. What do you want to do? Uh, All looks, right. looks like Levelies is, is ahead of you in damage taken. You gonna take that? <laughs> <laughs> he can have that one. Um, <laughs> I I just like raise my bat my uh my hand axes and I like, let like let loose like a horrible like like roar and I charge down the thing. Um, you, your roar <laughs> echoes throughout the cavern. I hear roar roar roar. <laughs> And then I, I want to recklessly attack him. I Beautiful. Just run can, can, up to him I, and I just I slam. Him? No, you cannot try to trip your allies. <laughs> I just slam my axes into its um into the box thing. Cool. Uh, give me some rules. All right, plus strength, right? Yeah, plus strength and plus proficiency. Cool. Uh, you want to make two attacks. Your main what's, the what's the proficiency for a hand axe? For a hand axe, um, it would be plus two. Plus two, okay. So yeah, well, everything's plus two. Remember. 20. Oh, that's, that's a hit. And for, <laughs> for your for your second hand, 
That's also a hit. So uh, okay. just so roll two d six plus um Did they have plus to take a, strength. A minus oh. penalty for the offhand. Um no, he doesn't take a minus penalty. He just he doesn't do full damage. All right, two d six plus uh, three? plus plus your strength plus three. And are you raging? Do you say you're raged? No, I'm not raging. Okay, I was cool. just ta yes, attacking recklessly. Yes, just yes, just two d six plus three. Twelve. Ooh. Nice. So you you just tear you just basically tear him in, and after it hits the wood, just blood starts squirting out, and you put your foot up against him. You have to actually rip him out violently in order to uh, in order to pull out your blades. Uh, he's not a fan that you did that, so he's going to attack you uh, because you did recklessly and opened yourself up for it. Yep. So he that means he gets advantage, so he gets to roll twice to take the higher result. Yep. Oh, but as high as a nine. You easily dodge him. Uh, Chrysaris. He's, yes. he's, not a, he's not a very acrobatic box. Nope. Uh, your turn. Um, there's there's not really enough room for me to get over here, is there, without hitting my teammates? Uh, not to your no, knowledge, the no. There's, yeah. uh, there is this. Um, so if you want, you can try going around, but you might get lost in the maze. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, um, but do you have a throwing weapon? You could throw some out. I've got a pair of lucky daggers, but since they're lucky, I don't really think I want to throw them. Well, you can pick them back up after the throw. Unless he eats it and then chews it up, I doubt they'll be destroyed. Oh, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, generally. <laughs> <laughs> it's better your daggers than your bones. I suppose. Um... <laughs> I guess I'm turn. just gonna try and throw one of the daggers at him. Oh, one second. Um, you guys trying to call me? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, you have to approach and get within range because at the moment you cannot possibly see him. Yep. There's walls in the way. So, um, do, do, oh, I like how it says do, borrowed right here. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to put I try to put a little flare every, everywhere it could. <laughs> um, little question: the hammer that's in my backpack, that's not the same throwing hammer that I have as my equipment. No, that is a hammer for putting pittance into the wall. It okay. Is a, it is a work hammer, not a fighting hammer. Uh, do All I right. just roll the one d twenty? I don't think I have a proficiency. Um, do you want to throw enough. both? Do you want to throw both um, knives or just one? Just one of them. Cool. Then, uh, then yeah, just give me strength or dexterity, and just one d twenty plus strength and dexterity. Okay. Plus, plus proficiency, because you know how to use them. 19. Beautiful. Yes! That, is, that should be plus 5, but still good. Oh. Wait, um, I thought it was one or the other. Dex or strength. Oh, no, no, no. Is, uh, is your dex plus 1? Uh, it's plus 3. Yeah, so but you have to add your proficiency modifier, which is another plus 2. Oh. Yeah. If you know how to do something, you get an extra plus 2 to it. How do so, I know if I know how to do it or not? Um, it's in all your weapons I, I equipped you with, you are proficient, proficient in, oh, okay. as well as all your skills that are written on your sheet, you are proficient in. Okay. Um, so yeah, that absolutely hits. Give me a roll. And that is 1d4 plus 3. Cool. Oh, nice. So you, uh, it actually does open up its mouth, and he just gets lodged right in the back. <laughs> uh, Aragorn. I'll pass. You pass? Cool. Yep. Uh, lovelies. Alright. So, I am... He's still gnawing on my arm, or...? Um, he, he let go after he tried to bite Shaq. Okay. Uh, so I am going to do an overhead swing of my axe, uh, Ooh. with no regard for, uh, for Shaq. Gorgeous. And, uh, and try to hit him. Give it to me. 13. 13. A 13 does not hit. It, uh, it actually, he jumps backwards and you launch it right into the ground. Shock kind of gives out a small laugh. Oh, damn. Still. So fir first, I trigger, first I trigger it and then now I'm missing. Yeah. And yeah. If it's any consolation, the ground, not happy. It, <laughs> it's, it's, it's got a huge hole in it now. I'm just like looking at Levelus, and I'm just like, don't worry, I'll handle this. Uh, Delk, what do you want to do? Um, is, did I unmute my, 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 my mic? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Sorry. You're, you are I was eating, I didn't want you guys to hear me chewing. It's no problem. Um, 
Let's see. Can I hit him with another ray of frost through the, between level yeah. and Oh yeah, definitely. You can, you can always shoot through allies, but not through enemies. Okay. Hold on. Let's just keep shooting. Does that just assume that the rest of us get out of the way when we see him shooting things? Yeah, essentially. Okay. Alrighty, so let's do another uh, just ray of frost. So... So I need to do the uh, D20 plus 2 first? Uh, D20 plus 3 plus 2. Plus 3, well, is the plus 3 supposed to be my uh, intelligence? Uh, yes. I, got a plus, I have a plus 0. Also, it would be a charisma bonus, because I thought you were a wizard for some reason. But you are a sorcerer, okay. so it would be plus your charisma. Okay, so plus 3 plus 2, yep. so it would be total plus 5. Sounds good. So there's that. Um, unfortunately, it uh, you, it hits the back of Levelies. Uh, oh, he's, come on. He doesn't he doesn't get hurt by it, but he does notice that he's really, his armor's really cold on his back. Um, <laughs> Chris, Chris kind of looks back at you, shocked, and you just kind of give her a shh motion. <laughs> uh, shock. Uh, are you gonna finish this beast, or are you gonna let uh, Levelis kill the ground? Yep, I'm still, I'm still attacking him. Still. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep attacking him recklessly. Uh, cool. Uh, remember, that means you have advantage, so roll twice mm -hmm. for each of your attacks. Alright, cool. Uh, cool. Plus five, right? Yeah, plus five. Okay. Seventeen. Cool. Thirteen, so it would be seventeen. Seventeen hits? All right, and then and, uh, for my offhand, twenty-one oh. and six. So. Twenty-one. So both text hit again. Yeah. <sighs> so two d six plus three. Plus three. Oh. And now it's beautiful. Yeah, uh, another fantastic hit. You you aim for both of his legs. You go for both of his legs, and you can see it start limping a bit. I'm really not happy with you. It's gonna try to bite you again. Ooh, 19 hits. Cool. Uh, it bites you for 6 points of damage. Just hunk. <laughs> as it chews, it chews off a bit of your skin. Uh, Chris. Him and not me. <laughs> exactly. Chris Saris. Uh, that thing swallowed your uh, dagger. You gonna get it back? Or? Um, I've got another dagger, so I think I'm just gonna try throwing that one too. Seventeen. That's that's a hit. One d four plus three. I'm wondering if you could probably try to do a, some sort of check to get into this hallway by like jumping over him. Uh, if you were really if if you were a half thing, I would have allowed that. Um, okay. And, um, cool. Uh, as you as you throw as you throw your uh, your little um. Little lucky thing, you might you see it actually hits him right in the eye. Uh, yes. He roars out in pain as uh, Shock and Lively both kind of give a strike to its chest. It uh, it falls backwards and uh, you see it begin vomiting its innards profusely. Hopefully, treasure innards, right? Um, actually, hopefully your other dagger. <laughs> oh yeah. <No. laughs> okay. Um, the beast now slain uh, lies before you. I just, I, I just find that kind of ironic. Me and him were competing to try to get the kill, and she kills him. Ha! <laughs> you mean I was killing it, and then you were standing there? <laughs> hey, there's, there was a hole in the ground that he was digging, and then he would have tripped in eventually. I like, I pulled my, I like, sink my hand axes into them, and, like, just like get them out of my hands, and I just raise my arms up in the air, and I just, yeah. Nice. Uh, you roar out again into the hallways. Um, after a <laughs> brief moment, uh, your guide comes back in, and he looks at the dead mimic and kind of sighs. Uh, he looks at you three and says, you're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> I t hey, uh, in my defense, I did not actually do any damage to it, so I shouldn't have to pay. You did trigger it, though. I take my hand axes back. Sink yeah, them back into my daggers. Yeah, cool. holsters I have. Um, for them. You notice that uh, Chrysaris's daggers are just covered in slime and goo. 
Gross. If if they're lucky, they probably ain't lucky no more. Damn it. Yeah, but you you have to wash them later. Yeah, um. Okay. So what do you guys do? You see this? You see this dead corpse? And he's vomited up uh, a lot of good goop. Uh, you uh, see, you see, a... you see some rib cages and bones inside of it. Can I uh, do most a of your small treasure? What's that? Can I can I take a perception check to try to see any loot or? Uh, you can try. You can uh, perception to kind of stand where you are and look, or you can right. investigate to get your hands in there and start looking around. Uh, I'm not afraid of germs. I'm gonna go, go look around. Cool. So give me intelligence-based uh, investigation check. All right. So that's what. Uh, roll what? Uh, 120 plus uh, intelligence. Uh, plus if, you, if you have zero. investigation, you can add the proficiency. Uh, no, I just have that. Cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look, crit. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, so you look up and you find this. Uh, you find this dead creature. You find this dead. Um, looks like a dead um, uh, human. Um, you, you're assuming that, despite its skin and only being bones really left after uh, it's been digested for years and years. Um, you start searching around it. You notice the uh, near where its waist once was is a um, is the a decrepit kind of pouch made of dissolved leather. Um, you look and you kind of rip it open, and uh, like a small uh, leathery egg, you crack it open. And you look inside, and you find just a bursting with silver coins. Uh, all right. I pocket. Um, there's about, I pocket there's, about there's about forty in there. Forty in there. Yeah. I pocket twenty, toss five to the uh, to the to the little gnome, and then let my team have the rest. He says that, 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 that what's this for? Uh, for, for that? paying for the mimic. He says that cost hundreds of gold to get here. <laughs> we had to we had to get him from the shadow realm. Do you know how hard do you know how hard hard it is to get one of those things into a into a maze? Surprisingly. Uh okay. Uh, I relent and just hand him the forty. I speak up. I was like, that's kind of funny because it was pretty easy to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, he looks I, at you angrily. I, I, I relent and just give him the, the egg filled with all the coins. Cool. Uh, he takes it and he says, this is just one. You'll, you'll have to speak to the king about uh, about repaying your debt. Oh, man. Notice how he didn't give you the, the egg back? No, he's keeping <laughs> it. Uh, he, 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 he continues this way and um, eventually he leads you out. There's no more um, events that happen crazily. All right. Eventually, you guys uh, leave the maze and you kind of uh, sigh, give a sigh of relief. Uh, you can see the maze below you, and you look up into this, this kind of look up into the sky. You can see the uh, place just the sky just goes on forever. Uh, it goes beyond your vision. Um, it's just darkness for miles and miles, or probably just hundreds of feet. You don't know. But uh, the Turf Neblin kind of uh, points north and says, um, that way is uh, Blingstone. Says, I'm just going to sit here and uh, take a rest for a while. Um, I, I got I to get out and there's another crew that needs me. We just bid them farewell and continue on our way. How you do that? The uh... Uh, Slash E or slash M-E or that kind of okay. thing. Is is that is that the uh, the shoulder where the mimic got you? Yep. That's that's probably not very good for it. That's gonna get infected later. Yeah. <laughs> Dirt tends to be dirty. It's weird. That's what they tell you in the army. Just rub some dirt on it. Pretty sure they say go to the uh, go to the medic. <laughs> um. So, so we're out. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I didn't see that you had. Un oh, so, I'm sorry. Boom. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, you guys look ahead up down that stream. You can see actually some lights streaming forward. Lights are always good. Uh, I'm gonna try to take the lead from uh, Mr. Orcman over here. Cool. You start. You guys. You guys start rushing ahead. Eventually, you come uh, shoulder to shoulder in this large room. Uh, you. Uh, you can see tiny people working and walking about. 
among this uh, these ruined halls. Uh, doors leading to residences and, and uh, businesses. Uh, there are these um, kind of uh, walkways that go far up into the sky and kind of circle around the columns that go on endlessly. Is that kind of uh, like what scaffolding or? Uh, it's it's not really scaffolding. It's more like uh, I suppose it's kind of scaffolding. It's more like walkways. Uh, these people they're they're actually buildings up here or okay. homes. Uh, you can clearly see that there are uh, barricades guarded uh, right here. As well as right there by uh, by you know by guards, despite this all seeming to be part of the same city. Uh, beyond there, the light goes dim. However, when you look to your right, you see more lights and narrow passageways, um, leading to different areas of the city, no doubt. Alright. Uh, I'm going to wipe off my daggers in the water here. Cool. Uh, you kind of start wiping off, and you and you look towards the. Uh, Towards the source of the water, it all seems to be pouring from inside this building. Hmm. Is there anything special about the water, or is it just water? Uh, it, appears, it appears to be clear water. It's a little, it's a little bit murky, but uh, you don't see anything living in it. Okay, I hope it wasn't poo water, but never. <laughs> it's probably standing water, which is, isn't pretty... Well, you should, it's you should, like you should drink it, but you should clean it, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm curious about the, the gray... Be smirchment in the top right. Um, what do you mean? The, it's like directly is. to the right. Yeah, that, oh, I don't know how to. Oh, uh, you kind of think? look over there and you can see. Uh, it looks like a broken statue. It's difficult oh, to okay. discern. It's so worn and, and shattered so many pieces. You can't really tell what it was. But uh, you do notice a sword as well as a shin. Uh, they're still they're still in one piece. Okay. Shock, however, he pulls out his water his water skin. And just pours like all of his water onto his shoulder. Okay, I was just washing himself. Shock quickly realizes how thirsty he is. Um, L, yeah. things happening again. L, oh, the, the static. Oh, the static, the static yeah. again? Really? Yeah, it's happening again. Oh, it, it, it went away. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's fair enough. But uh, right. it happens every now and then. Cool. What do you guys want to do? Uh, uh, is this the guard? How do you ping? Uh, you click and hold. Alright, uh, I'm gonna walk up to that guard right there. Um, uh, that is clearly a civilian. Uh, guards you can note- okay. Guards you can note have shields or bows. Okay, I'm gonna walk uh, up to the civilian then. Go ahead. And, uh, ask him if there's, uh, any needings for mercenaries, or the kind. Well, uh, he kind of turns- you kind of see him kind of busy, and he turns, and then he kind of just opens his eyes wide and has to look up, because he's so small and you're so big. And, uh, he's like, um, excuse me? I walk up behind him and I'm just like, where's the pub? You <laughs> see <laughs> kind of looking left and right and trying to desperately open that door to his house and goes, oh dear. <laughs> um, the, the, the what? It's, um, I don't, uh... The tavern. The tavern. The pub, the tavern. You, you, you see him, his, oh. hand, his hand shaking kind of points that way as he, uh, as he finally opens up his door and jumps inside his home. You're, you're scaring him. You hear, a, you hear a series of locks on the other side start to happen. <laughs> Using all of his locks, the chain, yeah. the deadbolt. All right. Well, then uh, I guess we're walking in this direction. Then. Uh, I, I mean, is everyone okay with that? And, I'm cool um, with okay. it. All right. Well, you see, it strays off in the multiple paths. Uh, left or right? They did point like this way, so. All right. Uh, I resigned to let the orc take the lead for once. No. Um, as as you go through, you can see the small spurt nebling kind of pass by you. Um, you kind of wonder how anything... And this could be a city with such tight and narrow passageways. But as you watch the gnomes walk with so much room, you kind of think, that's right, this is a small gnomish city. No wonder uh, their things are so narrow for us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we see any like signs for a tavern or like a uh, picture with a on it? Or? Uh, eventually, you come in, you see the following room. Okay. Uh, it appears okay. to be a large open market. Um, we can clearly see uh, somebody selling ale over here. Uh, somebody appears to be um, they're cooking food over here. You can that strong smell of uh, chopped cooked mushrooms is uh, giving out. Many people are making merry. Um, all the uh, gnomes are making merry on here, uh, drinking and eating and. Uh, a couple of them are selling wares. You can see a clothing vendor trying to push push clothing on people. 
Um, there is a small kind of, um, there's a small, what's the word, uh, statue of a large snake, uh, spraying water into a fountain. And, um, yeah. Oh, and, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, two more things. Uh, one, uh, over here in the distance, you can see a, a lone man kind of, uh, looking up, lurking amongst, amongst large statues, just be kind of studying them. Uh, you see t over here two guards um, appear to be uh, drinking with their posts unmanned. Um, and you can see uh, two large double doors down here and it says um, the Crystal uh, Inn and Tavern. Alright, uh, well, I'm a drunkard, so I <laughs> walk cautiously, uh, so as not to scare him, to the guy selling ale. Cool. Um, he appears happy to see your kind. Oh, uh, who's saying this? Is this uh, Levelis? Yes. He's excited to see your kind here. <laughs> now that's racist. <laughs> no, he says, "Oh, great, a dwarf. What do you have him?" Uh, what's the what's the currency? Here? Um, silver is the best one. Okay, yeah. I don't have any silver. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you can you can give him gold. He'd appreciate more money than that stuff is worth. I actually don't think I have gold. I have uh, <laughs> ten pittons, pythons. He is very... He kind of looks sad. He says, a poor dwarf. Great. <laughs> He's like, you well, can well, get out now. Yeah. <laughs> Move on, well, he what, says. What are pittons or pythons or whatever it's in my head? Uh, pins oh, are things sure you those knock... Are like nails. They're, they're, they're large spikes you launch into the wall uh, so you can tie rope and tie rope around it and go uh, up and down okay, the walls. So I'm, I walk up to the guards, and I basically just place my hands on their table, and I'm just like, you should go back to your post. People like me could get in. He says, uh, they kind of raise their, uh, swords to your, or their spears to your throat, and they say, people like you have gotten in before, and we're not gonna let them this time. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my back chuckle. I'm like, I don't know him. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my character sheet doesn't have any yeah. money either. Does that mean I'm Pretty broke? sure we're all poor. It, yeah, it means you're broke. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> you can always trade items and favors and stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna start walking over to the tavern, ignoring whatever it is that uh, Shock's doing. When they, has, threaten, when they you, threaten me, I pull. I go to my pack, I pull out my box of shrunken heads, place it on the table, and I just look them in the eyes. <laughs> they, they kind of open their eyes wide, and you see kind of one run off. I just start chuckling. I sit down, take his drink. Cool. Uh, so, Livlys, uh, you go over here and you can clearly see this, um, it says the Crystal Landing Tavern. Um, however, uh, it appears to have been shut down. Uh, there's a large notice that says closed on it. Um, yeah. I was gonna wait to go in anyway. <laughs> um, after a moment, though, you start to hear a sound on the other side. It sounds like, uh, it sounds like a high-pitched crystal. Uh, it's like a high-pitched tone. Alright. Um... I, I don't want to split the party. By the way, what, what's what's Aragorn doing? He's kind of like over there in the, in the tunnel still. Uh, I think he's still making his character. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Magic isn't easy. Okay, um, so you guys cool with having one more member of your party? I don't care. Um, I'm fine cool. with me. Does he have any money for beer? Um, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Hey, Sean. Hey. Um, I'm going to give you right. the thing for the join. Nope, that's a roll. Um, two seconds, I gotta find the thing that you join. Alright, so I, I just kind of imagine Aragorn just like following me around, he's like holding the scroll out like he, you know, like he's just not really paying attention to where he's going. Just <laughs> aware that there is a dwarf in front of him that he is following. <laughs> That's perfect. So, uh, what's the I think it's right funny now? that you guys could probably just like look around and just see like a giant half-orc among like little schnerfnerbrins. <laughs> and he, there's, he's sitting with the one that's terrified and just shivering. Uh, one second, I'm going to give you the invite to the campaign. Uh, blue, blue, blue. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to the table that, uh, that Shock's at behind the guard, 
put my hand on his shoulder and say that don't worry, he's not as strong as he looks, and sits down next to him. Give me a persuasion check. Was that charisma? That's charisma. Uh, D twenty, right? D twenty. Uh, oh, really? Minus one. Twelve. Cool. That's actually great. Um, he's kind of he's kind of calmed by your presence. Uh, he knows that dwarves and orcs are enemies, so he believes that if he starts fighting him, then you'll start fighting him too. <laughs> or maybe not. He doesn't know you're on a team, so. <laughs> um, so somebody new joined in? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting, trying to figure out how to, uh, get the link on Skype. Oh, just click on it. Yeah, it should open up a new, but should open it right into the game. After a while, I'll probably just finish the drink. I pick up my box, put it back in my bag. Somebody left the call, I think. No, uh, that, I, am I don't know. Somebody did uh, leave the call. Yeah, there was random. five and then there were six. Random, random left. Uh, random. Uh, we'll keep going. Um, random's not super important, not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. This, ah, uh, yeah, ah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm forcing him to join. Oh, okay. Yeah. Finally, uh, figured it out. Oh, figure it out. Oh, great. Cool. Um, so, uh, what are you playing in? Uh, I'm uh, playing a fighter. What kind of race? Human. Awesome. That's going to be super easy. Uh, I'm just going to be able to give you this one. Not uh, So just to catch you up to speed, at least in the class, uh, I'm Levelies. I'm the dwarf fighter. Uh, there's Shaka Khan. Who when, is when, you the... meet, when you meet him, uh, you guys can describe your characters to him. Okay. Shaka Khan, not Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. <laughs> You're gonna be called Shaka Khan. We're gonna call you Shaka Khan. <laughs> cool. Um. So yeah, let's just um, let's just assume you're at the bar. Um. So um, your name? Uh, what's your what's your character name, Sean? Sean. Sean, you there? Sean. Uh, I know Aragorn said that his Skype broke. Yeah, but Aragorn is not Sean. Yeah. <laughs> I think we lost someone again. Um, good times. Keep going. For <laughs> we'll, we'll, we can deal with these things as they come, but you guys should keep uh, role playing. Okay. All right. Um, right. I'm a bard and I have zero money, but I do have a uh, performance and a loot. Awesome. Uh, so I want to uh, talk to this little dude here. Oh, uh, that's a wall. No, this guy. Yeah, this, this, dude. this dark space. Oh, that's wall. Okay, I had assumed that this was like a bar, like a buffet. No, no. That is. If, my it, bad. if it's that color, it's it's bar. It's wall. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, so you do. You look inside, and you can see there are three people uh, vigorously working in a seems like a kitchen that they took all the walls on off of. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, do I? Can I fit in there, or am I too big? Um, you you have to basically crouch down and put your head head down. Okay. It's not comfortable. <laughs> but uh, you, you feel like you, a monster. But you can enter if you like. Uh yes, I I'm going to stick my head in there, and cool. uh, I guess this one's closest. So I'm going to ask him if I sing him a pretty song, if he'll give me a cup of soup or something. Um, one, it's clearly a girl. Um, Oops. Two, she, she appears to be cut. They, they all appear to be um, oldish women. Um, which is, for gnomes, it's hard to tell, but you can tell with their weathered skin. Um, they do appear to be cutting um, like cut, cutting various types of mushrooms and putting them in the soups. And uh, they look to you and say, um, well, we, we don't trade uh, music for, um, for food here. Uh, what, what you could do is you could uh, put some sort of... Uh Divi or like a, some sort of bowl or helmet or something on the ground and just start playing. I mean, it looks like we're in some sort of like, like square type area that people. Pretty good idea. Just... Grace Saris, would you like to go busking? Uh, I don't have anything for them to put anything in, but I'll do it. Oops. Some somebody give her your helmet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even think <laughs> I'm wearing one. Uh, nope, I just have a chainmail. I'll throw my cup on the ground. 
cool. The cup that uh, I just stole from somebody. Where, where do you want to bust? Just where you're standing, or do you want to yeah, find a gun? Yeah, that's fine. There's, just there's a, lots of people here. Just in the middle of an area? Cool. Yep. Um, so, uh, you guys all see, uh, Chrysaris begin to take out her loot and start playing up the place. Um, where is my... there we go. Uh, she starts playing a gentle tune. Uh, Delta, Aragorn, uh, what do you guys uh, want to do? Uh, does this, uh, kitchen here, does it, does it have some sort of, like, register? Or place where they're keeping their monies that they've earned? Um, <laughs> you, you can clearly see, um, when some people, uh, when some people come up and, uh, get money, they pocket it. Okay. So uh, you go, if, you, if you're gonna try to take it, it's gotta be a uh, pickpocket. Yeah, that, that that messes with my plan. <laughs> bear, Shock, bear, and then Shock Con, you're too young to be watching that show. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we as well. Well, I have nothing else to see here. I have nothing to gain from this area, so. <laughs> it's um, start working my way to where these guards were supposed to be guarding to see, try to figure out what they were uh, supposed to be guarding. By the uh, way, guys, I'm pretty sure he's went. He just went to like tell them that we got a problem because one of them ran off. They ran off. One no, of them one of the did. guards at the table ran off. Oh, uh, he was he was scared that. of shock. Uh, De uh Del, do you have the light spell? I do. Okay, cool. Uh, then as you kind of point out uh, a light object, you can see um, it's all darkness past here. But um, as you look over, you can see ruined um, scaffolding and uh, an old and old shattered doors. Uh, you know, the, the ground's just littered with stone. Uh, you can see this ground's all nicely swept, and it's it's as if somebody rubbed it down with sand, uh, sandpaper. This one is all rough, and it looks like it hasn't been taken care of in a long time. Okay, does not interest me. Yeah. Is there, guess, uh, guess what? That it didn't interest them either. <laughs> is there anyone that like that resembles a barkeeper in any way, other than the guy selling ale? I mean, he's not really a barkeep; he's more like a vendor. Um, you don't see any. Uh, this the, besides the broken down tavern, you don't see anything resembling a tavern. Are there any like um? Are there any signs near the near the ale keeper that mentions anything about free refills? Um, <laughs> no. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, it's, uh, the cup's on the ground anyway, hopefully collecting money. Yeah, uh, yeah. True. But by the time you guys are done, I'll, I'll, we'll see how much money she gets. Um. I don't know, I don't have any ideas. Uh, I guess uh, I'm going to walk over and just uh, admire the sculptures. Cool. Uh, you see them, they appear to be, uh, they all appear to be very gigantic Sferf Netherlands. Um, around them you see one has an angel, and the other one has a broken statue, a small devil. This one appears to be guarded on both sides by, um, by very large Sferf Netherlands. Uh, this one appears to be facing all the rest, as if he doesn't trust them. Um, right. yep. uh, th this is the sculpture right there? Um, uh, that, that in the center? What's that? No, no, no. The the sculptor right there. Um, yeah, he, he's not a sculptor. He appears to be examining them. Oh, okay. Um, uh, he looks um, more like a priest than anything else. Okay, I'm gonna walk up to him again cautiously so as not to scare him and cool. uh, ask him if he knows what the uh, what these are supposed to be for. He kind of gives her a laugh and he says, "These uh, these were these are our gods. At least they once were." Were, are they were they uh, living gods or deities? Um, T T says. Or, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, excuse me. Mortal gods or deities? He says uh, these ones were. Um, they represented our our gods. Okay. Uh, they, you can see in each one of their hands is a small uh, place where a stone was once kept. Uh, he kind of points to them and he said, uh, "We used these stones to communicate with our gods, or uh, they would communicate to us and tell us their wishes." But they've been silent for a long time. They've been. Uh, what happened to the stones? He I, says. I um. He says they were, they were either broken or stolen during the uh, the attack on Flame Stone a hundred years ago. Uh, I think we should buy the stone. Yeah. Um. 
Do you know who stole the stones? He or the, the ones that weren't broken? He's, he says probably the drow. Jerks. Uh, is there any kind of, uh, any kind of drow presence even in the remote area? Uh, he shakes his head and says not, not for quite a, a while away. Okay. Um, I say, uh, you know, sorry for your stones. Um, hey, I was wondering if there's any, if there was any work for a, uh, a group of adventurers uh, I think that you know of. I kind of raised an eyebrow and says, um, well, I couldn't pay you, but um, I, I would absolutely pre- I, I absolutely love it if you would assist me. Uh, with what? Just um, retrieving stones. Oh, oh, there you go. Um, sure. Uh, let me let me double check with my party, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> he says, "Fantastic. Um, have them come to me, and I can uh, tell them uh, all I can do for them." All right. Uh, so I make my, I'm gonna make my way back. And I'm gonna check. Uh, I'm gonna check on the the money jar. The money jar. Okay. Um. So you guys see in the money jar is uh, Gracious. Give me a uh, performance check. All right. Um. I have proficiency in that, so I get what a plus plus one plus. Uh, a pl- an additional plus two. Uh. With your charisma bonus. With my charisma bonus. Okay. So one to twenty plus five total. Dang. Yeah. This Doesn't being trained in it give you advantage? No, it gives you a plus two. Oh, Seventeen. Oh. That's amazing. Uh, I'm the best bard ever. Okay, uh, so people have been just dropping tons of cash into it. Um, I'm going to give you a 1D... I could give you 2D100. Um, nice. Yeah. Thank you. People have been absolutely loving you. Um, they've been throwing in copper and silver, and you see even a gold piece in there. Uh, oh, all, yeah. all of it amounts to 126 silver pieces, uh, give or nice. take. Nice. Um, so we could get some beer now. We can get a lot By of beer. By the way, guys, I can cook food. He's a, he's a and, chef. And I have I 10 days rations. I've got rations, but I'd rather have hot food. <laughs> yep, which I can cook for you. We have some Shrift number on the menu if you want some. <laughs> I, um, I will, I will, Kirito, I'll tell you about um, what's going on a little bit here. Um, so, uh, so this is an underground city called, um, Blindestone. Um, it is about two weeks away from the surface, away, uh, two weeks away from the, the hot, bright sun. And, um, you've been down here for several months. Um, you've been squatting in the old, uh, in the old tavern, uh, right about here. And, um, you, you kind of, uh, you've been, you've been basically trying to look for work, but, um, it's, uh, it's very difficult to find work besides commanding posts and guarding. Um, there, you've noticed there's been an orc problem for quite some time, and uh, you've been basically collecting orc heads for um, for money. <laughs> and then you walk outside and see an yeah. orc sitting um, in the bar. <laughs> as you come out, you do see a half-orc kind of scaring Ace for Nebulon, and you kind of get excited. It's like, hey, that's ten silver in my pocket right there. I can't um, like him already. But yeah, uh, but unfortunately you can never really assault their hold and cash in because one man isn't enough to do that. Um, yeah, you guys may continue. Was it 126 gold or 126 silver? 126 silver, or 12.6 gold. Okay. Uh, I mean, to me, it's her gold, it's her silver, she can do with it what she wants, but I mean... We are buy, a party. Buy everyone around. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the mean lady who told me she wouldn't trade, um, she wouldn't trade song for food, and cool. I'm gonna buy, um, enough soup for everybody to have some. Sweet. Uh, they gladly do it. You take, you take it out. It's, it's not very good soup because it's just pure mushroom. Um, I'm gonna c- count you as inspired. Um, inspir- at reason, insp- inspiration die, if you do something RP-wise that just takes a while and there's no really reason to do it. Uh, essentially it means that for one roll, um, if you'd like, you can roll have advantage on it. Awesome! Yep. It's represented by a little trophy. Any meat products whatsoever. Um, only <laughs> like orc meat. Legs. Only orc meat. <laughs> and, and, and you have to pay extra because they don't like cooking it. I'm going to resume my spot next to the terrified guard at the table. Cool. 
Or actually, oh, actually, now he's less terrified, but still nervous. Yeah, okay. so we, <clears throat> I'm gonna go sit at this empty table. Just started making faces at me. Did that work? You you said you bought soup for everyone, right? Yep. Everybody's nice. got soups. Bowl upon bowl of soup. <laughs> that includes you too, Aragorn. Sitting all the way over there. No yeah, control of your character. He's following the dwarf. <laughs> that's you. That's, 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 yeah, that's, yeah, your, that's your thing, Aragorn. Me. You're still training your character. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah. I kind of say loud enough for the party at both tables to hear that the, uh, while he says he can't pay us, the uh, apparent priest over by the sculptures would like us to retrieve some precious stones. Does he know okay. what we are? Did I roll knowledge or religion on those? Like, on the, that stuff? Uh, you you know enough about the stones. I uh, knew this here. You'd have to have him describe to himself. Well, yeah, uh, I say, uh, he, he can he can fill us more in. I just wanted to see what you guys thought. Uh, what say you? I'm like, hey, I'll give him these stones. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell him to shut I tell you to shut up and just follow us anyways. Uh, yeah, I, I, I roll my eyes at him and look in the direction of Viserys and Delka. Cool. Question? Uh, I'm, I'm down with it. I, I'm gonna finish eating my soup and then I'll follow you over there. I, I'm, I'm cool with it if we come across them in our journeys, rather, you know, but rather not make it our main priority. I'll go wherever there's money. Do we, do we have a journey that we would actually rather be doing at the moment <laughs> i mean finding something that will give us some money and or loot that'd be preferable rather we, than we, spending we got time money, which, by, by the way, the way uh, i i hate to be the one that pointed out but how much money did she spend on the suit uh she spent about 26 dollars considering it was for all of you and food down here is kind of hard to get that's that's a pretty good deal so we still got yeah. like 10 gold 100. oh yeah you still get yeah, 10 gold of, um, or 100 silver yeah. 100 silver yeah which is basically a sack all right. Um, I mean, that's like the only offer we got right now is is the stones, and then I don't see um, anyone else. These, I'm going you can clearly I'm see a looking for a uh, people sign right here. If you guys want to, instead of adventuring, just open up, uh, just start working for them. I say you do it. I am a chef. Yeah, he can cook. He'll be the half. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to the. They, it's, and they pay you about two silver a day, which isn't bad. <laughs> In this economy, I'll take whatever I want. Yeah. Is is there is there anywhere that resembles uh, anything that a blacksmith could do for work? <laughs> um, uh, you could ask someone about around here, but um, uh, give, give me a charisma check. Um, for persuasion, give me a persuasion check. Is that me? Don't eat those. Uh, yeah, but for you want, yeah, give me a persuasion check for um for finding out. Ten. ten. Cool. Um, so with a ten, uh, you know that there is a blacksmith here, but um, they've never actually reclaimed it. It is supposedly haunted. Ooh. <laughs> that, that sounds like an adventure to me before you go on cooking all day. Uh, I say. I mean, I'm just one of five. <laughs> As Kiriko cries in the corner. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys. Wanna... Well, we could ask around, and be like, "Well, what's the word around town? What's the, like, well, like what we, are we already the know adventures? It's, it's, it's supposedly haunted. If we could, if we could, perhaps reclaim it for them. Not only would it open up the blacksmithing for us to possibly buy gear, but I'm pretty sure they would compensate us pretty nicely. Well, let's think about this for a little bit. Where is the, the. Uh, the common spot where all adventures begin. The, the, ta the tavern, where you guys are right now. The, the, the closed tavern. Yeah. Well, uh, technically, we heard something behind the door. We could knock. We didn't try that. Yep. But or now, uh, Kirito is standing in front of it, eyeing the door for ghost. Now he's, he's also smoking a pipe, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, uh, and this is a, this is as outside as you can get in the Underdark, so... Once again, you look up in the sky hundreds of feet. You can't even see the roof. I mean, I, I think it'd be kind of out of character for me to suddenly want to go to the tavern. Does anyone else want to suggest it? I, I'm going back to the priest. 
I'd be willing to explore more. Else. We have this whole area <laughs> oh, up right north here. that we haven't touched. Uh, yeah, true. Uh, do you want to find out maybe if he knows where the stones are? Well, are we supposed to talk to some king? That's the good thing about this this kind of thing, this stone game, is that there's so many adventures that they, there was, that's like seven hooks I've given you so far. You can go to just whatever one you want, and I have stuff for it. All of um, yeah, Shock just like rises from his seat and he just starts walking toward the end. Cool. Or toward the tavern, you mean? Yeah, to the tavern. Cool. Are we gonna talk follow to this guy? Uh, I guess not now. <laughs> okay. I cool. guess we'll do it later. Uh, okay. so you guys approach and you can see Kiriko, Kirito there. He's um, smoking. Since, since, since I'm the one that heard the noise, uh, I kind of gesture towards him, questioningly. Uh, hey, do you know what's what that noise is back there? I mean. I know he's not an NPC, so you can't speak for him. Here we go. I think he's yeah. having trouble with the mic. Oh, uh, 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 weapon is versatile. Oh, okay. Well, no, we can't hear anyone. Han's I'm gonna pass them. So. I'm gonna boot him from the uh, call and make him rejoin. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he couldn't hear. That's right. Hopefully that'll help. Can you hear me now? That, I I can hear you. Yeah, can oh, you hear me? Yep. Yep. Can you hear us? Can you hear me now? Yep. It's like the T-Mobile commercials. Only you, we can't hear him. He can't hear us. <laughs> um, so yeah. I grunt and push past him. Uh, one second, uh, a versatile weapon, uh, versatile means that you could use it with both hands, and it'll actually boost up the damage. Okay. Um, okay. so yeah, a sword, instead of going, you know, one hand for 1d8, you can use both hands to turn yeah, to a 1d10. Yeah. Or, if you had, like, a 1d10, you could, no, I'm not Um, headset turned up or muted, okay. they are, hmm. That's concerning. Yeah, it's our, uh, I'm an, I'm an IT, so I'm trying oh, to... Oh, yeah, you, you, you help him do that, uh, we're just gonna keep on rolling then. Uh, so what do you guys wanna do? Um, let's just assume that Kirito joins your team, because whatever. So, so basically uh, Shock just, like, walks up to him, grunts, pushes past yeah. him, and opens the door. Yeah, you're, you're, you're used to teaming up with other people. Um, as you enter in, uh, you see a flooded, uh, looks like a flood bar. Uh, looks like the following. Boop. Uh, you see, as you look around, you see it's, um, all the wood is finely shaven, although it's old and now cracking. Um, you can see crystals kind of bursting from the wall with these little kind of, um, little kind of plates circling around them. Uh, the most multicolored and brilliant one is in the center. Uh, once again, the whole bottom layer is flooded. Um, there are several doors. Um, they're very small, leading into individual rooms. Uh, down here, you see a bar that appears to be empty and and soaking wet uh, is most likely been pilfered hundreds of years ago and um, and yeah you see a small sphere of Nebulon up here he appears to be uh, tuning these uh, crystals and every now and then you hear a sharp sound kind of break out, out of it is he watching us? I uh, doesn't even appear to notice you're here alright I just walk up to the thing in the center yeah. cool I, I try to grab one yeah, cool. Um, right uh, as you grab one, a sharp ring kind of bursts out. Give me a Constitution saving throw, Shock. Oh crap! Cool. Constitution is plus two. Da -da -da. Sixteen. Cool. Um, so you take a uh, half of one d eight damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you take two points of damage, and uh, this guy rushes over and he says, "Do not touch the crystal." <laughs> and he begins uh, rushing downstairs. Do these crystals look like they're valuable? Um, they definitely, they're definitely colorful, and uh, you can give me a check to see if they're, if they are valuable. Is that just a, a d20? Um, it would be either a per per persuasion roll to talk around town, or um, it would be a intelligence roll. Or history. Uh, I do have history. Cool. Uh, so this guy starts basically tuning these things up and trying to put them back together. Uh, it says you, you could have you know, broken years of progress, it says, Orc. What are these things? It says these are sound crystals. They were once an instrument of our people. 
I sort of just chuckle and just walk past him. He's kind of in the corner, but whatever. I start climbing the stairs. Cool. Uh, the stairs are rotten. And, uh, oh, they are? yeah. Oops. I moved. <laughs> well, you guys are on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, half the party is silent. Yeah, some of them are trying to fix yeah. problems. I'm trying. I'm trying to help Kirito with this. With I'm carrying the campaign stuff. right now. <laughs> Way to go, Jeff. Cool. Ah, uh, so yeah, what do you want? What do you want to say to him? If you want to say anything, or just leave. I'm gonna ask him what they do. He says they play music. That's it. He looks to you and says, "Yeah, I'm, I excuse me for being a a bard." Oh, <laughs> she's a bard. She can handle it. Yeah, I'm an asshole. So. <laughs> what? You should you should, you should attempt to play them or ask if you can play them or try to play them. They're crystals. Okay, they're still musical instruments. Apparently, how do you play a crystal? Half on. What? Are, are you asking doing whatever him? He's doing. I mean, you you had a sharp sound earlier. You you played it. <laughs> I tried to rank it out of the wall. Are you gonna try to rip one out of the wall? Yeah. I tried. Oh yeah, you tried. tried to bring this thing out. And you got hurt by it too. Cool. Um. So yeah. Uh, you want to ask him a question or just gonna stand there? I look over uh, at Chrysaris expect expectantly. Yeah, I. I don't really have anything in my inventory that that would help me tap on them, so I'm just gonna walk up to one of them and tap on it. Cool. Uh, you give a tap and uh, you don't really hear anything. It's just kind of like a tuk. Ah. Uh, what are you tapping it with? Your the like weapon? Just a hand. Cool. Uh, uh yeah. You you kind of flick it and uh, you don't. You just kind of like a tuk. Darn it. Would you like? How do you play those things? Crowbar. Uh, he he cut. He says, "Uh, you must be a uh, a magician." And he kind of uh, raise. He raise. He raises his hand to one of the bars, and you see it start to vibrate gently. And um, yeah, you can you can you can. I want to raise my hand to one. You can feel your ears ears starting to hurt a little bit, but you're not hearing any sound. You think it's too high a pitch. Do we have a mage? <laughs> I don't yeah, think we so. Have two. Yeah. We have a sorcerer. We have a sorcerer and a cleric. Sorcerer is not really a mage. No, neither is a cleric. Okay. I ask him why this place is flooded. Uh, he says, um, he points to the roof and you see a small, uh, leak kind of dropping water, uh, into the small area. That makes uh, would sense. That, would that leak be maybe upstairs? Um, it is most likely, I, he, he claims it to be a crack leading to a underground river. Uh, okay. No. He he says um the owner never got repaired. Then again, the owner's probably dead. Um, well, I'm not a. I, if I was a stone mason, I'd offer to repair it. But <laughs> where to go? Well, if worse comes to worse, he can make it into a swimming pool. He he kind of gives you a a, sh a sharp look and shakes his head. <laughs> I start laughing at my own joke and I just walk out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna follow him out. Cool. Uh, I guess. Me too. Oh, I'm well, already out. Well, uh, let me grab onto you. There you go. Cool. Uh, the door closes behind you. That guy sucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a fan of bards, are you? Talk to me. <laughs> as, a, as another bard. I just don't see the point in making music with crystals that no one can hear. That seems silly. <laughs> you know, maybe it's as if this Furf Nebulon can hear higher tones than you. Oh. Uh, well, then I have no appreciation for their music. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm assuming no sound music. You're, you're, <laughs> you're so privileged, Chrysaris. That's right. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm not sure what Smart's doing. Uh, I, I try to tell him where to go to check his settings, and he's not replying or anything. Uh, F him. Uh, all right. Uh, I mean, it's one of those things where I did this, let's just keep going on game wise. Um, all right. Try, try your best to help him, but if he can't, if he's not responding, just play. Yeah. Uh, so what do you want to do? 
Uh, well, the tavern was pointless. Or, um, was there another tavern, or was that the only one? Um, in the reclaimed city, there's the only tavern, and it's not even, you know, open. Yeah, there's not even booze. Yeah, uh, note that the population of this place is still quite low, probably only a few hundred. Oh. Yeah, this is not, a, the city is not back to full, uh, to full steam yet. Uh, do y'all want to go to that haunted place? Try to reclaim the the smithy. Sure. Let's I'm down do it. for it. Uh, we gotta find out where it's at. You're gonna ask the guy you prompted to help, or? Uh, I'm gonna go up to the guard that I calmed earlier, assuming he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Uh, ask him if he knows where a smithy is. Uh, he says we don't have a smithy. Uh, any 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 place that would that would repair or create metal tools. Um, we we don't really have it. All our weapons are imported. Hmm. That All must right. be expensive. He says, "Yeah, it is." Uh, is there is there is there a place where you used to create tools or of any kind, like before the attack? Uh, he says, "Um, there there was a blacksmith, but it's." It's been uh, over. It's been overwhelmed by uh, some sort of creature. Uh, where? Uh, he points to the north. The north. You guys to the northwest. Go? Northeast. Oh, so the way he's saying is when he's actually has the Skype window open. Uh. Yeah. So he says when the Skype window is open, he can hear us. But then when he clicks on the on the whatever browser he's using, it, everyone cuts out again. That's weird. I, I That's think it's weird. I think it, his computer takes precedence over like is is someone using the, the roll twenty chat to talk? I was typing in it earlier. <laughs> I've only been typing in it. But no one's I might be able chatting to turn in it. Ah. You should probably tell him to go into the cog menu and then turn everything to nothing. Or, um, hmm. uh, we can all, uh, one way we can do it is we can all turn our, if, if it's not already done, we can all turn our receive to nothing, and then our broadcast to audio only, and then he can turn his receive to audio only. See, that's called being clever. Let's see if that works. Okay, so, uh, so uh, broadcast okay, so. voice only to others. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah let's, everyone let's see if Sean can hear us. Mm -hmm. Don't do that because then it's gonna go through Skype and. Um, not, not if you don't receive it. Yeah, if we, if we set our receive to nothing. We're yeah, the only one who will receive it should be uh, SB or Sean. Sean okay, B. So um, I'm gonna tell him go into D20, click on the gear in the top left or to the top right. Um, scroll down and set. Yeah, I meant to call you. from others. Yeah, so, you guys have a plan? Um, Not really. Just head north, I guess. <laughs> See what happens. Have, uh, have all you guys set your broadcast to voice only? Yeah. So you can hear it? Yes. Yep. I actually had both of them on, actually, before I looked. Uh, Classic. Yeah, I forgot. Explains the the reverb we got every now and then. Oh, so does about that. does cure wounds get the bonus for like like the other spells do? Ah, uh, we mean like the other spells get the spell level or whatever, or, and then your wisdom modifier. Um, no. Okay. I'm pretty sure you don't need to hit with cure wounds. Yeah, it sounds like no, you want to try no, to no, hit no, somebody. It's oh no, it's just two D plus four. Bonus to your attack is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you don't have to attack someone with healing because they're usually willing, like willing to get healed. Yeah. I know, but I'm healing someone in that. Well, you, when you use your spells, you get a spell attack bonus. No, no, no. You nope. can't miss not. with healing. You have to, you have to actually touch them. I'm pretty sure. No, okay. I'm not touch them. <laughs> okay, so you don't add on to the damage of a spell, right? You don't um, get an attack bonus because you, you don't get an attack. You're, you're, I think you're saying to the kind of damage thing. Uh, you, you, yeah. do have a, you do have a bonus, it's already added. Uh, it's the plus four. 
I heard Spart breathe. What? Yep, what? Yeah, we can hear you. So, so Sean? Say something, Sean. Can you hear us? I, I, I just heard him breathe into his mic just now. Um, I, I supposedly you guys should be able to hear me. Oh, or maybe not. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna turn all ad blocker off. Ad, ad blocker off, and then see if you can hear me. Yep, yep, yep. I, I, I just heard him breathe. We have not confirmed that he is in fact breathing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's see if you can do it. Um, can you hear me? Is that? Am I audible? Uh, I can hear you. Yes. I'm. I'm at the the one guy who are. Ow. Trying to. Not super useful that you guys can hear me. I know you guys can hear me. <laughs> um. Yeah. Magic, magic. Yeah. Okay. So you can only hear my breathing. Oh. Oh. oh, oh I hear. Yeah, I, heard, I, I heard. I heard a voice. I, I can hear you, buddy. Can you hear me? I heard you speak. Can you hear us? So. Can you hear us? Come back. Yeah. Oh, okay, you can hear cool. us. Sweet. Okay, now cl hold on. Uh, click on your browser uh, and see if you tell us if you can still hear us. Testing, testing. Can you still hear us? Uh, that does not sound good. I, I honestly, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. Like, I don't even know why it would do that, much less why it is doing it. <laughs> uh, that's not uncomfortable. Can he hear us right now? Uh, he said he can still hear us. Uh, that's oh. because we're talking in game. Uh, we're talking in the D20. I don't know if you set your stuff to that yet or not. Uh, so, Sean, if you can hear me, go to the gear in the top right and uh, scroll all the way to the bottom and ch uh, make sure that uh, I want to broadcast to others is set to voice only and I want to receive from others set to voice only. And then if that works, you can actually leave the Skype call. Yeah, well, you're on speakerphone, but I'm in the room with my yeah. You did that? Can you hear us? Oh, uh, look at the, hold on, look at the, look at the, hold on, look at the top, make sure that it, the, your browser isn't asking permission to use your microphone. There should, there might have been a pop-up of some sort that's asking permission to use your microphone. Did you click accept, or did you click deny? I remember when this game used to be about, you know, dungeoneering. Sorry, <laughs> just, I'm trying to help him out. My job. I know, it's just funny. Now we're playing D and D slash IT technician. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's D and IT. <laughs> D and IT. I like it. Uh, well, uh, if you at least if you can hear us in the game, then you can just type your actions in the chat, and we can. No dragons involved. Uh, is that okay with every, Is that okay with you, Sean? You can just type your stuff in the chat, and then you can just listen to us as we talk. Yeah, I'll accept that if you if you want to do that. All right, cool. All right, continue. Um, by Paylor's light, um, if you want to say something, just give exclamation marks, just so I know that you want to say something. Otherwise, you won't be able to talk faster than these guys. Um, yeah, or just just say, so right. just kind of go like, so, hey. The last I heard was we had a blacksmith area that we could potentially go try to reclaim. I don't know if anyone you could wants to. do like to the that. adventurer thing and be like, hey, have you heard any rumors around town? And then if they say no, then there's nothing interesting here and we should leave. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I did. I just asked for a specific rumor. <laughs> do the, sky, the Skyrim thing. Let me guess. Somebody stole your sweet roll. <laughs> okay, uh, so what do you guys want to do? North to the blacksmith. Cool. All right. Um, game. So you guys start heading um, mindlessly north, looking for some sort of blacksmith. Uh, you come across a large ruined statue. I'm north. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow them. All right. Uh, statue right there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's similar to the other ones. Is a uh, large female scarf nebula. You can see for some time. You start to hear the sound of training. It's training, Quick like question. combat training. Combat training. So when they say when you say huge, 
do you mean like huge by Schnurf Nurmer standards or it, huge by like, um it's or huge by like our standards? It's huge by your standards, but huge meaning you know it's probably like four times your size. Um, if okay. you can hear us, Sean, we're right now we're under uh, underground in a I still can't pronounce the word Schmurf Neblin town. Schmurf uh, Neblin. Uh, uh, he's in the Schmurf Neblin t- t- city of Blindenstone, lost a hundred yeah. years ago to from a uh, drow, has been re- slowly reclaimed over the last forty years, and uh, finally people are there's no B in Schmurf Neblin. Um, <laughs> There's no B in the beginning of Swerf Nivellin. Uh, you, um, you said, sorry, but uh, you said through like just random whatever, he ended up joining our party, right? So. Um, yeah, we're just going to add you to the party. You saw him, okay. you teamed up. Because right, um, we'll, we'll they're the only non uh, Swerf Nivellins in this place so far. And he appreciates the company of people whose voices aren't this high. It's like living right. with the Smurfs for a year. Exactly, which actually would be a party. <laughs> Uh, alright, so... Fish, 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 yeah, I know. So That's how you say shift. We're walking over here towards the sound of training. Cool. You can see, uh, many train. A lot of them seem to have issues, um... Uh, the, some of the militia seem to be needing, um... Uh, needing weapons, but are completely out. Hmm. Would one of all my, right. like... One of my hand axes probably be, like, a great axe to them, right? Um, it would be, like, a war axe to them. Okay. Well, I'm not going to give them any, but... I was just no one's surprised <laughs> there. <laughs> um, is there anyone who stands out as, like, in charge of any kind of sort? Uh, you do see one of them. Uh, I'll say, uh, let's say this one up here. Up there? Why not? Uh, so he, he's, like, off the ground, like, above me, right? He's about 20 feet in the air. Alright, so I kind of, I walk up to about here, and shout up there, uh... How goes it? <laughs> He kind of looks down to you and says, Greetings, giant. What do you want? <laughs> uh, work. Do you have work? any? It says, uh, well, if you wish, you may guard the posts. We pay one silver a day. Uh, anything that needs killing. Needs killing? Always. I uh, he says, we've had uh, issues with orc raids. If you wish, you can go into the outlying areas and try to, uh, try to take down any of their, uh, what's the word? Uh, any of their ambushes. And he kind of uh, looks at you and says, "I doubt you could you could take their um, oh, what's the word? Their uh, their main hive." Challenge like plan accepted. Right? Did he just insult us? How dare he? He says, uh, "Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong." I sneer in his general direction, <laughs> turn I my like back, and start he's heading setting us to our deaths. Yeah, probably. He says, um, if, I, "He says if you're gonna prove me wrong, the orcs are that way." Okay, I do want to inquire about that. Cool, that appears to be a ladder leading up to this. Okay, I it looks like a bookshelf or a chest no, of some sort. It goes 20 okay. feet up in the air. It's Never a very mind. flamboyant ladder. <laughs> it's very purple. Cool. I, as I leave, I sort of just I start growling at one of the at one of the stuff. Cool, you do so. All right, I guess we're leading the party this direction. Wait, wait, wait. I want to roll intimidate. Oh, Feel okay. free. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, you guys keep going, we'll, I'll tell you what happens when he does it. I'm menacing, so I get proficient in uh, intimidation. Yeah. I don't know what that means. It means you just get your plus two bonus. Cool. Plus charisma? Yeah. My charisma is zero. Cool. <laughs> I made sure to not make it a minus one. Uh, <laughs> you, you give a roof, and the guy kind of jumps back. And at this point, the party's like, like, fifty feet up the tunnel. He has to catch up. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, you see, you can see more people training. Uh, this time on bows, though. I find it comical every time someone calls the dwarf a giant. <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to these Furf Neblin, there he is. Well, obviously, left is still inhabited by Schmurflorblins. Schmurflorblins. So. So we're going to go this way. Cool. Uh, as you go up, you see uh, to your <laughs> left appears to be glowing green, while uh, the sound of work and uh, hammers hitting nails uh, goes above you. Which Sorry, one did you say the green. orcs were? Uh, uh, sure, uh, uh, we're going. Let's, okay. let's, just, let's just describe our characters a bit. Um, let's just 
from left to right. Um, why don't you guys describe yourselves? Starting with Derek and Delk, and then Shar, and then Gracious, and then somebody's gotten else. hidden in the shadows. Um, yeah, someone's behind somebody. Oh, uh, no. so, someone's behind the shadows. Yeah. Uh, there. Or, yeah, there you go. Cool. cool. Uh, so, so Delk, top tell, left tell diagonally. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Delk, t- uh, say something about yourself. Well, I am a uh, dragonborn mage. Sorcerer. And. One of my favorite abilities is to puke on people, because I have an acidic puke. He has an STD. Most people's, Essentially, pu- most people's vomit are acidic. Of the, of the stomach. And yes, although I can't do it all the time, because, you know, there's limited stuff in my, in my stomach. Great, Shock. I am Shock Khan. He's a jerk. Shock Khan, Shock Khan. I am the son of the leader of the Khan clan. <laughs> I um, I left my I left my clan in search of jobs, no, in search of in search of work, um, and I I basically was hired into this group by uh, as a uh, as a sellsword. He he worked at a, as a uh, basket weaving IT uh, for about <laughs> five years. Um, yeah, kind of got bored of it. Uh, I'm Grace, also a chef. He he also knows how to cook. Uh, Chris Harris. Uh, I'm Grace Harris, half elf bard. Um, I don't really have a backstory. I just like adventuring, Make and I up. teamed up with these guys because that way I don't get killed. Le- levels, Le- levels, uh, levels, or I don't know, Levely. Le- Levely, yeah. All I right. Like so uh, I am a dwarven fighter. Uh, I can't stand shock. Uh, we constantly. <laughs> It's, it's pretty much it's it's a rivalry. Like uh, we'll we'll have each other's back when we need it, but other than that, we hate each other. Um, and it's actually about it. Um, I'm a little nicer than Shock is. Uh, Aragorn. I'm, I'm typing mine on my thing. Okay. Typing it as we were talking. Yeah, cool. Aragorn. I, we, uh, his has been making his character this whole time still. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just following us. It's he's about super quiet. Well, go look at my character sheet and then look at the rest of yours. <laughs> we're probably over about half done the adventure, and he just finished his character sheet. But yeah, um, and then there's then there's you, Kirito. You you wrote a small Kirito. book. <laughs> Holy crap! Mm-hmm. Wait, who? Let me see. Um, Aragorn. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah, you 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 really put in all the spells you do, didn't you? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, my stuff is not that uh. That even, detailed. Not that detailed. Oh, and and also, no, it's not that detailed purposefully, so players know what spells they do and they don't get confused easily. Um, also, Aragorn does not look as derpy as his token suggests. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually looks pretty badass compared to his dummy. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Picture. Okay, uh, so now you know what to look for him. Wait, I made two days ago. Let's make some friends. Cool. Uh, so because what do you do? Um, glowing path to your left, work up ahead of you. My vote's for glowing path. Yep, My vote's um, for glowing path, too. Yep. What if it's uranium and we're gonna get radiated? Well then, that's a risk I'm willing to that's take. That's probably gonna happen on, either on, way. On all of our behalfs. Cool. Wait, uh, is, did that time in the in the time in the tavern count as like a small rest? Yes. Sweet. So can we spend healing surges? Uh, you sure can. Cool. Uh, so that would be uh, yeah, one of your hit dice or both your hit dice uh, plus your Constitution modifier. Now if you stop getting hurt, you wouldn't need to do this before battle even started. <laughs> Five. All right. Cool. That's not bad. You're, that's almost full health. Um, so uh, you guys can clearly see uh, your Sphere of Neblin guide who brought you here is uh, kind of just kind of meditating in this uh, this cavern of glowing um, mushrooms. Uh, they appear to go up quite high, uh, about probably fifty feet up into the air. Um. I guess. These gnomes are weird. You're weird. They're very weird. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I don't really want to interact with him because, I mean, he's he's kind of a jerk. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> What'd he do? 
he, he he's trying to get us to pay like hundreds of thousands of gold for uh, or something they're trying to eat us. Yeah, because he's trying to make us pay for our actions. Yeah. <laughs> we don't appreciate oh, it. He's he. trying to hold us accountable. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, let's so just go south you don't now, wanna, I guess. You don't have to. You can go. We can follow this path like to the left and downwards. Yeah. Actually, that looks like it almost leads back into the uh, the construct or the yeah the construction area or whatever. The uh, the, the main the first place that we came into. We might have to try and go through that pile of logs or whatever. I hey, there's a dude there. Uh, he appears to be guarding. Uh, he kind of tries to stop the half orc. He says, uh, "Whoa, <laughs> there, big fella! Uh, I just ignore him. You don't want to you want to go past here. There's orcs about." Oh, okay, so yeah, oh. that's it. I go then. I, I like look um, at him weird. Like, is that supposed to be a racist thing? <laughs> I mean, <I'm... laughs> he he says, "Well, it's, it's kind of like a orcs huh? ta orcs attack us kind of thing." Huh? Okay, okay. I just ignore him and jump past. Okay, yeah, he he says, "Um, okay. Uh, half, so. watch. We're out. Don't die." All right. Um, I'm going to also go across the logs. Um, cool. or the barricade. Cool. I, I turn around, point at him, and just like, where's the hive? Uh, oh, he, I, I don't know if I want to go to the hive, damn. He, he says, he kind of shrugs and says, I don't know, that way. <laughs> he has no idea. Why would I know? I just live here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk I'm past him, but I'm going to say that I'm just going to reassure him that we'll, we'll be fine. We are not scared of the orcs. All in a sing-songy voice. Yeah. He, he says, yes. he, he shouts out as the last of you uh, kind of jumps over his thing, uh, we won't be sending out a party to retrieve your corpses. <laughs> like we need his help. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, uh, Sean. Uh, Aragorn was the last one that... Or, oh, well, what's your class, Aragorn? I don't think you said it before. Oh, oh click. I also didn't click. mention that I'm a barbarian. Yeah, well, you're a half orc, orc, we assume. Half orc. Okay, so anyway, continue. Uh, you guys can see uh, these kind of uh, ancient uh, steps uh, in front of you. Oh, someone moved me, how nice. I put my arm in front of Loveless, and I'm just like, hold on, we gotta wait for the other party members. Kinda slow. I'm not slow, you're slow. <laughs> oh, dang it. You guys continue to tiptoe through this very uh, clustered cavern. You see um, you see these ruined uh, walls and broken down doors all around you. Uh, eventually it splits up into multiple paths oh, okay. again. We should start looting all the, all the different houses. Uh, the drow probably did that a hundred years ago. Darn it. Because they're jerks. Stupid elves taking all our stuff. That's all racist! Us. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, I take offense to that. Me too! I'm, I'm a dwarf, so for who, once who, I actually who said agree that? with Jack. Who said that? I, yeah, I'm which character does you with the us. magic right now? <laughs> no, no party invite. <laughs> That's not fair. He insulted me. Just insult yeah, him so back and... While, while I didn't directly there agree... There are tons and tons of orc jokes that you can throw around. At least we're not retarded orcs or dwarves. Whoa, that's <laughs> offensive too. Whoa, I didn't <laughs> insult you. The I, just kind of, I just kind of grinned Dude, at his, the, his elf joke. But the I didn't LGBT community is not going to like that one. The elf GT. Uh, I guess I'm still just walking. Uh, cool, yep, you guys continue to walk. You guys just walking out in the middle of these ruined areas, looking for something walking to happen. Walking down there. the street. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're looking for orcs. I mean, we haven't encountered any yet. Yeah. You know, we're gonna it happens. Them. I mean, if you really want to encounter them, all you have to do is, like, yell or something. We're in caves. <laughs> <Terrible area. laughs> um, uh, do you, do you want to try your shout? I'm, like, a stealthy barb, so I'm not really, not really into that. He said the guy who shouted as he attacked a mimic. Well, there was no afterwards. chance for stealth there, so I'm hoping we can spring some kind of trap. As, uh, as you approach, as, you begin to see some sort of uh, some sort of barricade, previously made of uh, made of broken sticks. I I like lean up against the wall. I put my hand up, like in a SWAT sign. I'm just like, 
Hold on. Cool. Um, if you want to hold on, you guys can. Other people seem to be moving. <laughs> I, I, I guess I guess we just ignore him and keep walking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, it's at this point that you guys kind of walk up and uh, you are seen by an orc. I'm going to roll stealth. You're going to roll stealth? I should have done that before they saw the four of you. I'm pressed up against the well, wall. They, they, they you, saw you, four you, of us, you're so. pressed up against the wall. Look where your team is. Okay. Well, hold on. Hey. Hey. So, so actually, you could you could actually just stay there until we need you. Because they don't know you're there. And apparently, I'm, I'm assuming they don't know Chalk's there either because they don't see him. Um, you said four. You said four. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys should still roll for initiative, though. Because... Things is about to bust out. What All do right. we add to initiative? That's your dex dexterity modifier. modifier okay. Yes. Pretty sure you guys are gonna need me like immediately since I'm the I'm the damage dealer. I, I could deal damage too. I'm just not very accurate. Oh, well, can you? <laughs> I can deal. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, th this is the voice of the DM, Sean. If you if you're not sure. Uh, that, that one d twenty I rolled was for nothing. It was just to make. It was for something in the background. Uh, what dice do we roll for initiative again? Um, ominous dice are ominous. The ominous dice are ominous. Uh, just 1d20 plus your uh, dexterity. 20. No. Now the orcs gonna all attack in one turn because they're uh, orcs. But really, I I'm bad at this. Yeah, you're bad. You should really stop, you know, rolling poorly. Make your luck better. Yeah, all of us kind of suck. Hey, somebody uh, got a 20! I rolled 11. I rolled an 11. Thank you. All the orcs got an 18. This is bad news bears for you. No, I don't got a don't critted. So, critted. so Delk, the one of the only two people who is still unseen, got a 20. That sounds right. Yeah, right. and I choose to wait action. here until he comes in my line of sight. Oh great. <laughs> well, I mean, assuming they all see us, we're probably gonna like rush them, and you're gonna just be behind us. Well, I mean, I got my ranged attacks. I'm cool. I'll, I'll sneak in behind. All right. Um, I'm five. We're still waiting on everyone else's numbers. Yep. Go ahead. Turn. Go ahead and put them into the turn order. Um, what did I get? Was that a nine that you got? Or is that for a different role? Okay, nine. Nope, uh, yeah, uh, Shock and Kirito. Uh, what's your rolls? Uh, Fifteen for you. And uh, Shock. Shaka. Sit bathroom break. Bathroom break. Shaka no Tessa. Sure. Uh, screw him. Uh, yeah, actually, actually, that's a good call. Yeah, this, will six. this will take a bathroom yeah, break. Yeah, six. Okay, that's he's already gonna be really low then. Uh, I'm gonna call a small bathroom break then. Yeah, right before the battle starts. Hot All right. Time. Ditto. Shut up, Sonny. Shut up. And Lovelies is back. Guess I'm the first. I never left, so. I never okay. left either. Okay, okay. I've returned. Uh, Sean do, is do, back, do, 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 do. DM's back, so now we're just waiting on, uh. Still waiting on, uh. The, 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 the shock. Cool. Uh, well, luckily, Delk is the only one who's currently in the wall for some reason. Why is there? 
Not on my screen. He's just right next to it. On my yeah, I, I I had to move him. Oh, you moved him. Okay. I moved him out of the wall. Uh, I would turn up the battle music a little bit. Better. Okay, Delk is back. Cool. Uh, what do you want to do, Delk? Uh, uh, I got a it, quick question about my mage armor ability. Is that for only able to be cast on myself, or can I cast it on others as well? You can cast on others, but those others better not have armor. Uh, if they're wearing armor, it will not work. I'm wearing oh, armor, so don't cast it. Don't cast it on Levelys, because I have armor. I'm pretty sure I have armor as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Only one who doesn't have armor is the orc, who is using a similar tactic, only using his constitution. So the only one it will work on is you and maybe Delk. <laughs> okay, so so it would benefit uh, Khan. Yeah, but Khan's also stealth right now, so like... Okay. Uh, you, you and him are the only ones not seen. Okay, well then, you know what, I'll go ahead and do my mage armor on myself. Cool. Uh, so you're gonna hear these guys roar out, and uh, they start out. Um, you start to hear tons of movement within the place. Uh, you may have just woken up the hive. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, so you're gonna see this guy with his massive shield start approaching. Uh, followed. You know, I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. <laughs> followed Late by. Do it now. It's cool. We got him at choke point. Have you seen 300? Come on. <laughs> That's what five, six. Cool. So then something that looks me and you in the front that looks scary. Dwarfy. Cool. I'm in the front. Thank you. Uh, so this guy's gonna get to right here and he's gonna try to strike at you there, Aragorn. Yeah. This is gonna be a very long combat, guys. You just woke up a hive. Oh, uh, great. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious about what that circular-looking thing is in the shadows. Is that looks like the big king dude? I hope it's not a big king dude. It's a big king dude. God damn it. Yeah, Sean, we just woke up a hive of orcs who are now attacking us. Hey, uh, Aragorn, this guy's attacking you with a... 10. A giant whip, I see. <laughs> okay, cool, so he, this guy tries to swing and he misses, uh, most likely because he's wielding a sheet, very large, oversized shield in his left hand. Well, you're next, Sean, so... Uh, Kirito, what do you want to do? Uh, you notice all your friends in your way. Well, like, I mean, if it's a range, it would go relatively through us, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah. He'd have to like throw some. Or you could, you know, go but, down but either he, way. I was gonna say, yeah, he can't. Ha, 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 ha. Um, he can't do melee though, right? Because there's people in the way. Uh, no, he couldn't do melee. Okay, he could. Couldn't. Could okay. not. What character is he even using? Kirito. He's the one in the very back. No, I'm uh, on the sheets. Um, uh, can he? Can you not hear me, uh, Sean B? Can I can tell all, I can, I'm pretty sure you can hear me, so I can I can always yeah, relay can, it. Can you tell him it's his turn? Uh, oh yeah, Sean, it's your turn, by the way. I don't know if you can hear the DM. What are you talking about? Kirito is... I'm not moving back, for one. I have melee. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he says he can't hear yeah. the DM. Um, yeah, that's, are that's you broad really are you broadcasting? Concerning. I am broadcasting, yeah. And I'm pretty sure it says that. Doesn't say that my mic is doing it for the thing though, which is weird. Uh, okay. Look for um, well, Sean, it is your turn, and they're asking what you want to do. You do have two people in front of you, so you cannot melee, uh, but you can range. And uh, we've already agreed earlier that range just kind of automatically misses the uh, allies. The people, your the allies. Uh, Sean, what, what class are you, Sean? He's a fighter. Well, fighter? Okay. Oh, he kind of needs to be in the front. Um, Wait, do you have anything ranged fighter. at all? That's, I mean, other than... That's pretty much all you can do other than self, uh, two-hand axes. Uh, I guess you can, you can, you can attempt you can throw them. No. Uh, you can also, you can also just pass. I mean, it, that's, if you Could want to, so, but... Room, it's probably a good idea to pass. You're not sleeping in that chair, so... We could also go around. Get him from two ends. That could work. Um, it, it does look like the, the, the south path does go... Uh, I'm just gonna note here, uh, somebody would most likely need light. Um, 
I think it's Me Delk. Kirito can go down. Uh, Wait, I think Delk light? is the only one who actually yeah. needs light. Or, or Delk and Kirito. Kirito. Just, Kirito just I have light on right now. You have light? Cool. I'm just going to mark you down as someone who is lit. But yeah, I've I been think... lit for a while. I think my idea is like I think me, Kirito, and Delk should go around the south, and then that's Aragorn. What, that's, what, that's what I was asking. Yeah, we should do that. I concur. Yeah. So, me, Kirito, and uh, Delk go down, and then you guys hold the line. Yeah, uh, Kirito, do it then. Uh, uh, Kirito, he says, go ahead. Yeah, not ha not being able to talk to him really makes this difficult. Yeah. Uh, oh. that's a that's a wall. Uh, it's a wall. You can't do that way. You have to go. We have to go like where Delk is, south. Mm -hmm. Down this way. Yeah, where the, where the ping was just now. Yeah, the direction. Yep, just like that. Cool. And uh, uh, I'll, 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 what what depending on your speed though, because we've already we were we're yeah. in, in we're in a combat, so depending on your speed depends. Yeah. So it's yep. about twenty five feet. Uh, you walked there. Uh, do you have any light on you? Do you have any light, Kirito? Any kind of light uh, at all? Or are you holding out your weapons? Uh, he has a torch. Uh, that means you, one hand's going to be used for your torch, and the other hand's going to be used for. Uh, so for yeah, if you that. use a torch, Kirito, you would have to sacrifice one hand, so you'd only be wielding one axe. You probably won't need it since Delk is going to be following him. Uh, Delk is going to be right behind you, and he's lit, so you might not need it. But um, but yeah, you won't be able to see uh, and or do anything more than where, what you're doing right now. Then. Well, if he's standing where he is, can he still see since Delk is behind him? No, because Delk is producing light like this. So the best he could see is this. Uh, he says he draws his swords. Cool. Swords are drawn. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess you can read it. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is there anything else you want to do, Kirito? Nope, alright, no. he's done. Dear gosh, having somebody who only types really slows it down. Uh, yeah. Aragorn. Alright, here. It's like uh, per playing Sir Rage in the middle of the yeah. encounter. <laughs> I hit this guy with my Warhammer. Cool, can you roll? Oh, nice. Uh, despite him uh, blocking with his shield, the force still goes through. Uh, how much damage do you do? Oh, that's not much. Uh, so, yeah, he did absolutely block and he kind of smashed his shield back to his face a bit. Uh, Griseris. <laughs> Um, I can't reach any of these guys, but I do have an ability that says Bardic Inspiration. Nice. Um, do I have to roll for that, or do I just... Uh... You just you just say it, and uh, somebody adds 1d6 one, to whatever they want for, for okay. our next... Okay, um, I'm gonna do that to... Sh uh, Levelless, I guess, because he can actually cool. hit the dude. Uh, Levelless, okay. you can now add 1d6 to your next attack, or, um, or saving throw, or check. Uh, As Graceros takes out the loot and strums, and magic kind of fills you up. Yeah. Uh, shock. I um, I just yell out another one of my famous roars, and I run up right here. Um, let's do that step by step for me. All right, cool. Uh, I'll, I have the uh thing, thing. I keep moving. All right. Here. Yeah, because getting right here is six movement. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your speed on your character sheet should tell you how far you can move. Can I, right, can I, move, here? Can I move here instead? instead? Cool, yeah, you can move there. Cool. Uh, with your dark vision, you see the. Oh, actually, I forgot there was a freaking thing there. Uh, you guys can see the following. What do my orc eyes see? <laughs> Looks like this. Oh, so there's even more people. Yeah, they seem to have grabbed swords and are ready to fight. Are they? So they're are they aware of Kirito and Shock? Um, Obviously. yes. They're they're okay. they're aware of him because uh, these guys shouted out. They looked that way and they heard they're running this way. I pull out and my axes. And I'm ju I just like ah. Cool. Come at me. Uh, Levelas. 
All right. Um, I'm gonna strike at this dude right here. Cool. Uh, my, you're kind of my... you're kind of shoved up against the wall there, so you're gonna have disadvantage. Okay, so that's what minus one. Uh, that is roll twice, take a lower result. Okay, so yes. uh, eleven. It's gonna miss, but roll again. And twenty. Yeah, so you I missed. missed. Okay, and hit uh, the ground again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Delk. At this rate, I'm a better farmer than I am fighter. <laughs> Guess you know what you're gonna retire do. Uh, we want to do Delk. Okay. Well, I am going to move in behind Kirito and Khan. Um, Shock Khan. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, so we'll do that. And then. No, and then. Fine, that's skipping a turn. Essentially. And then since they already notice us, I might as well start slowing them down with some ray of frosts. Cool. Uh, which one do you want to attack? Um, is this orc that's closest to us, right, right here? Is he? Uh, Twenty feet up in the something? air. Yes. He's twenty feet up in the air. Okay, so I should still <laughs> be able to hit him. Yep. Slow him down before he jumps on us. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll shoot shoot a ray for us at his face. Bring it to me. So I gotta roll my d20 plus five. Five. Boom. Cool, that's a hit. Nice. It's got a hit. So now I need to does ten damage plus those. On. It is certainly very cold for that ord. Yep. 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 And so one d roll damage. Yeah. One d eight. Sorry. All right. Here it goes. Which d is it again? Sorry. Eight. One d eight. D eight plus. Nope. No plus. Zero. Sorry. I'm just kind of narrating what I'm clicking. Ooh. Nice. Uh, he just gets blasted with ice, and you see him begin to shiver. These guys are going to strike. Uh, so I would assume if we can't melee with people in front of us, neither can they, right? Um, no. Is that a no? They can That's, or no? No, they, they, they they'll have trouble. Okay. So the choke points are actually effective. Yeah. I uh, see this one's going to attempt to jump over to the other side. Does so with gusto. Gets to right here. Uh, this guy's going to jump over and try to land right about here. Um, he's going to take damage unless he can get a good throw. Yeah, he takes about 1d8 damage. So we fall. Uh, but then afterwards he does strike at Delk. Uh, these guys get a plus. Boom. Doesn't he get like an attack of opportunity or something? Uh, no, because he was above you when he moved in. Uh, this guy's gonna do the same thing. Gonna try to roll to not get hurt. Four, he gets hurt. These guys are super uh, dexterous. How much? Hold on. How much damage did Delk take? Uh, who? Did he miss. No, uh, he missed. Uh, he gets to here and he is going to attack um, Karn. Uh, but he has advantage because he's on the other side of that guy. He gets to roll twice. And he does 1d10 damage. Six point damage to Delk. Oh, sorry, uh, Kirito. So the, the two goblins just jumped off the rafters. They were about 20 feet up. These are orcs. The first one with the, with the, 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 with the blue icon swung at Delk and missed. And the other one oh, that jumped in behind oh. him. Ah, one second. I'm going to give him my Twitch page. Then he'll be. They should be able to hear us. Tell me, hear Ah, me. good idea. Ah, uh, uh, it's 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 gonna be slow though, wouldn't it? It's gonna be. It's a, It'll it's be a, slightly uh, delayed, but at least he'll know the basics. Okay. It's only like uh, it's only so, like ten seconds delayed. Okay. So, yeah, so basically, one, one, one minute delay. So yeah. So, uh, so here, so if you click that, that is the Twitch the PM is currently streaming. If you if you wanted to, so you can hear him at least and know what's going on. But uh, in the meantime, the one that's behind the the slowed. One swung at uh, shock and hit him for how much? Uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage. 
So now you, you should be able to click that link and it'll bring up the stream and at least you'll it'll be delayed by about a minute, I think they said, and uh but you'll be at least be able to know the story of what's going on and That's more like ten seconds, honestly. It's in, no, it's a minute. Is it Twitch a minute? minute. Hmm. Yeah. Uh so basically our choke point has failed. Um, yeah, mostly because these guys aren't stupid. Um, <laughs> if they constellation, these guys will continue to move in. Uh, so that'd be boom, boom, boom. So you get to here. I uh, see these guys are well dressed. They're gonna get to here. And they're here, and uh, they're gonna try to climb. Um, roll one d twenty plus okay. five. Uh, they're gonna try to climb the stone walls to get on top of the things. Uh, one of them kind of half butt does it, and the other one uh, does it really well. The half butt one you see is really tired and exhausted. He took a bad route. Uh, he's gonna have disadvantage on checks. Uh, that's the green thing. That means exhausted. Um, however, that's gonna be their whole turn. Um, and as you guys look, you see Stomp. Ba boom. Ba boom. Uh, of course. Ba boom. This massive uh, half orc, half ogre appears before you. Wielding a massive whip and a, just a huge machete. Uh, he his dad must have been a brave orc. He, <laughs> who says his dad was the orc? <laughs> okay. Sure. I um, think about that. <laughs> uh, what's the status on him right now? I see there's a status right there. Um, that means or is that he, part of the eight? Um, orcs. Uh, you give me a nature check and I'll tell you. All right. What's that? Roll. Oh, uh, that's intelligence. Okay. Roll. Intelligence. A d20 plus zero. Okay, so seven. Okay. Um, that's not bad, uh, especially considering you're a dwarf. Uh, you know, dwarf tactics. The biggest and the strongest are the leaders. Uh, so this guy's uh, okay. most likely in command. So if we take him out, could we assume that the others would at least be easier to take down? Like, uh, kind of lose, they, they, they lose, would uh, morale. They would lose his uh, his influence over them, which is that he can uh, tell them to move without penalty, and he's going to do that now, actually. And you see this one down here is going to move behind uh, the bard. Shit. Uh, he can't attack because he already attacked this turn, but he does do that. I'm guessing that they're giving it, that they're dealing like slashing damage. Um, probably. They are using machetes. Okay. Um, I Just think wondering. that's besides the one who's going to fight uh, Aragorn here. Um, which is gonna deal... he's gonna miss. Uh, I believe it's Kirito's turn. Um, uh, Kirito, your turn. Yeah. Uh, Grace Saris, though, uh, do you want to sw swap me spots? When it comes to your turn? Uh, which one are you? I'm, uh, Lovelies. I'm he's the one shoved up against the wall. Yeah. Alright, uh, just when it comes to your turn, we'll switch. Okay. If the DM allows it. Yeah, yeah, uh, you're, 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 you just basically skip your turn and go down to four, so you guys can switch. Wait, we would, she would skip her turn? Uh, she would just go down the initiative order. Which doesn't matter because the enemies are later on. Oh, th that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah I I, meant, but, like... that, but that's how you switch. That's something we can oh, do. Oh, okay. You guys have to become the same initiative to switch places. Um, Kirito, which one should I attack? Um, well, uh, tell, tell me you can attack one who's really well defended or one who's really good at attacking. Uh, you can attack the one that's really well defended, or the one that has really good at attacking. He can hear me like a man delayed. Uh, the one that's defended is the one with the shield right there, um, and then the one that's better at attacking is the one that just got pinged uh, to his to the to the enemy's right. Uh, if you know how to ping, you can just uh, like ping the one you're gonna attack. And to ping, you just hold down the mouse. Uh, which which one's him? Okay, he's attacking the one that's. Uh, oh, give me a roll. Good at attack. Uh, roll for it. Huh. Um. Yeah. T tell him that he he launches his blade right into the shield. You um, launch your blade into the shield. In addition, he's not doing his full attack. It should be plus four. Assuming that he has a strength bonus of two, because he's not adding his proficiency. Uh, you you need to add your proficiency. Uh, so uh, does he reroll? Um, no, it would just be 
it would just be eight instead of six, which was still miss. Okay, so, so it, was actually, it, was an, it was an eight, Kirito, instead of a six. Your proficiency is plus two. Um, um Aragorn! Uh, I want to cast Burning Hands. See, that's that's awesome. Cool, uh, I'm assuming you're playing this way and not this way? Yeah. Cool, so it goes bam, then bam, bam, then bam, bam, <laughs> bam. Yeah. It, it basically burns everything that can it touches right here. Doesn't it go in front of me, though? Um, okay. yeah, it does. Five feet, ten yeah. feet, fifteen feet. Oh, yeah. Math. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, these guys are all going to try to duck and dodge out of the way. Uh, Unfortunately, some of them aren't great. Um, uh, so the... So uh, they have to yes, beat a. You would add your strength to your proficiency. They have to beat a. They have to beat a thirteen, um, which the last one does. Is kind of blocks with a shield, but the one that's too close does not. Um, deal three d eight damage, or roll three d eight damage. Dun, 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 dun. Where is the macro? There's the macro. Wow. That's <laughs> a shamefully low. No, oh, it, it's it's uh. So Kirito, yeah. The if your strength mod is plus three, then I guess that was. Uh, maybe even one more, but it's already Aircorn's turn, so... He didn't hit anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he, he rolled way too low. Um, so this guy blocks with his shield, and he, about half of the damage is soaked up. Uh, this guy takes the full brunt of it, and this guy manages to get in a good position and block, so he takes zero damage. I hit the guy, I hit the boss guy too. Ah, uh, no you did not. 15. Once again, uh, 5 feet, oh. 10 feet, 15 feet, that's okay. 20. Uh, yeah, you yeah. wish. Uh, but Chuck, <laughs> you're up. All right, Let's get I'm some shock and awe. I'm, in, I'm extremely enraged that these guys will just ignore our attempt at strategy. So I just, <laughs> I want to drop uh, into a rage. Cool. Is it uh, just a wooden stuff on fire? Um, Oops. sure. I will light the fire if you like. Uh, yeah. That will make That's you happy. That's actually pretty good because that it will probably spread to the catwalk. Mm -hmm. Potentially. There you go. On fire. So, uh, Kirito, just to, just so you know, Aragorn uh, used a uh, what was the skill called? A burning, a burning hand hands. spell. Burning hand spell, and he lit up the stuff that's on fire right now. So, uh, you have gone into a rage, and this mm -hmm. breaking of your mind will uh, will symbolize it. Ah, I just turn around and start bashing on this guy. Cool. Give me a roll. Okay. D twenty. Plus five. Oh, you gotta roll again because nice. you're using two weapons. So roll once more. Fifteen. Beautiful. Uh, he's not wearing that much armor, so I believe that is a hit. So uh, that means you get to roll three d six plus uh, three. Wait. Now I um, you get to roll. You uh, also enraged. Damage dice instead of one. Um. No. Yeah. You get. A, yeah. So you roll three d six instead of. Uh, okay. Two d cool. six. However, um, you also Don't rage. Do I two d six uh, normally? Uh, you roll two d six normally. Now you roll three d six damage. Four d six. No, uh, you roll one extra dice. Remember, one. No, for savage attacks. Oh, so, so um, okay, you can roll twice and take the higher result. But oh, for, oh yeah, that's right. You're right. I'm yeah, when, silly. I, when you roll a natural twenty, I, I forgot. Get two I forgot to an orc. Dice. That's that's a new rule to me. I keep forgetting that. So yeah, you roll four d six plus three. Yeah. Plus two for each attack, so that's two more two more dice, so that's um plus three, four, five, six, seven. So forty-six plus seven. Wow. Right. I'm I'm not gonna lie, this guy's oh. not gonna make it. Hey Kirito, can you hear uh shocker now? Twenty one. Yeah. Um who do you want to have attacked? This guy over here, the 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 guy with the shield or the guy behind you? This guy. Okay. Um so with your just your right hand attack, you kill him. Uh so you I'm just gonna let you use your critical on this guy over here. Alright. Um, in which case you also kill him. Ah! <laughs> yeah. You're, you're just soaking in the blood. Uh, lovely. Uh, something. Kirito, can you hear me? Okay, uh, so yeah, we, we switched spots. Is it my turn still? Or? Uh, yeah, your turn. Okay, so, uh, I am going to swing at this guy. Sounds good. Uh,. Nine. <laughs> How do I have plus five and still only no. get nine? No, one of your sweet abilities is called Action Surge, which allows you to make another attack if you'd like. However, you oh, may you, you may want to six or something too. By the way. Oh, or you could, no, that's only um 
Aragorn, wasn't it? Oh no, what's here? Yeah, no, that was, that was that me, was but him. I'm waiting to use it for my damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, um, if you want, you can use it on that, or you can wait for this guy. Um, oh, either, uh, yeah, I basically an extra one six. The, extra the, one the, point. The bonus action. Okay, cool. Give me another roll. Attack roll. Uh, 24! Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so roll okay. some damage. So now, uh, so it's, uh... It's not so correct. Be... What's your, what's the weapon, though? Uh, an axe. It's my axe. Uh, so hold on. Axe isn't a 19 weapon. to 20 crit? Um, maybe in 3.5, or Pathfinder. Oh, yeah. uh, this one's just, yeah. So it's, uh, 1... 1d12. Uh, one. do you want to add the 6 for damage? I am. Sweet. Uh, plus 3, and then how, how would I add it like that? So just, like, just roll, and then... Oh, um, resistance is half damage. Wait, so, sorry? Uh, the guy, Chuck Khan was asking what resistance is. You get half. You oh. are dealt half damage essentially. All right. Okay. Cool. So, so in order for me to, so I'm do my one d twelve plus three is my actual basic axe yeah. damage, and then yep, plus one d six. Plus how much? One d six. So do I add it to that, or do I? Yeah, roll just just times? just just add to it. So, like, so yeah. I do plus three, and then plus one d six. Plus one d six. Okay. Uh, 11 points of damage, sweet. Uh, you give him a massive chop, and uh, you you see one of his one of his limbs go off. Uh, he he appears to become enraged though. Uh oh. But with his one hand. <laughs> uh, Chrysaris. Chrysaris. Yes. Your turn. Uh, sorry, I don't know if the audio cut out there or what. Cool. Um, so yeah, I me, have... you, me and you are swapped, but you're kind of pushed up against the wall now. Yeah. yeah. I have a rapier, but I don't know if I can reach him. Yeah, you can reach him. Okay. Then but, but you have disadvantage because you're smushed up against the wall. You can't move properly. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try anyway, so I'm going to take out the rapier and, uh, and try to hit the orc that's right in front of us. Cool. This, uh, this one here. Roll me attack. That would be 1 okay. to 20 plus your um, what, is there a bonus for that, or is it just... Uh, yeah, but plus, plus two, but um, plus you also have disadvantage, so you have to roll twice and take a yep. lower result. Um, ha! Ho oh, ho! Uh, remember, it's plus two <laughs> plus your dex. So that'll probably, be a, lower that'll probably be a plus so five. Um, so please uh, roll 2d8 plus three. 2d8 plus three. Ha 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 ha. So happy over there. <laughs> Fifteen! Fifteen. So, um, as he's fighting Aragorn, you see him kind of get his shield knocked downward, and you take the opportunity to stab for his jugular. Uh, he begins flailing around as he begins bleeding out profusely, until eventually he just lands spiked into the flames. Excellent. People um, down the hall hear, like, manic giggling. <laughs> uh, fire spreads up top. Yes! Uh, this guy now has to take 1d6 1D damage. From fire. Uh, Graceris Delk. All right. Well, let's start off by moving out of harm's way a wee bit. Go to there. Cool. And then let's just continue slowing these guys down for my for my buddies up front. We'll we'll do a frost ray frost on this dude again. So here's here's my twenty. Well, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, question: Does slowing uh, affect just the movement, or does it actually affect just the movement? Like, so if that guy's already okay. right there yep. at a position, you might want to aim for someone who has a ways to go. Uh, can I reach he, he, this dude? Is uh, too far? Yeah, you, you can reach that guy. Okay. Well then, let's go ahead and uh, start slowing him down up there. Cool. Connor. Ten feet's not going to affect him super much, but uh, yeah, that's going to miss, unfortunately. This oh, get okay. plus five. Yeah, you get plus yeah, five. Yeah, right? it's plus five. Sorry, cool. I, I yeah. missed it. Uh, so he does attempt to block with his shield, but um, you you manage to get him right in the face as he tries to. Uh, so deal one d eight damage. All right. Awesome. Fortunately, that's not super powerful. Um, so let's start with down here. Um, these guys are going to move in. One, two, is, and is he slowed or? He is slow. Uh, he is slowed, but not enough to actually affect his his okay. tactic. Uh, he's going to jump off this cliff, and he's going to attempt to land on your good friend uh, Kirito. And this guy's going to try to do the same thing. 
Uh, okay, so, you, so sorry, so you, I'm just playing the character real quick. So Kirito, the uh, the orc that's over your character right now just tried to jump off and land on you, and they're gonna roll for it. Yeah, um, they're going to attempt to attack you. Uh, if they succeed, they're also going to transfer 1d8 of their fall damage to you. Um, so this one's a reaction or whatever. Um, you could if they weren't in a, such a good position. Uh, this one's coming at Kirito, and this one's coming at Khan. Uh, Kirito, you got the 12. They so that's that's, that's, that's that's him trying to land on you. He's landing while swinging. Oh, landing while swinging. Okay, so AC. I thought I thought it would end up being uh, a saving throw. Twelve versus dexterity. Your AC. Um, that dexterity is included in your AC, so uh, miss. um, miss sweet. Ah, uh, so he lands beside you instead, and he hurts his legs. Uh, he's dealt one d8 damage, one damage to himself. <laughs> uh, minus one. Uh, however, the other guy, the other guy does manage to land on the orc. Uh, he is in addition to knocked prone, um, so you are knocked off your feet. Okay. Uh, this guy is now on top of you, and he, he is dealt two d8 damage to you for thirteen points. Jeez. Uh, question. Uh, I doubt. Uh, it, but my, however, uh... this is both slashing and bludgeoning, so you take half damage rounding down. So that's more like six damage to you. Good thing you're cool. enraged. I was uh, worried question. for a moment. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, my second wind can only be applied to myself? Yes. Okay. Um, Kirito's attacked by the other guy beside him for 15. I'm assuming that misses. Um, so this guy's going to move into Aragon. This guy's going to move into the shield. And this guy's going to move within whip whipping distance. Um, so, uh, Levlis, you're attacked by this guy. He attacks twice to take the higher result. Uh, he's going to deal oh. 2d8 damage to you. So six points as he slices. Uh, Aragorn, this guy is not enraged, so he only attacks you once. Fourteen. Sweet. So he he has to dodge. Uh, this guy's excited the opportunity to attack, while this guy starts using his whip to attack Aragorn. Um, I believe How he gets. How far does that whip hit? Um, it can whip probably about fifteen feet. Oh, wait, then you actually can't hit me then. I, he's going for Aragorn. But you you said he hit me and did six damage just now. He, the guy, the enraged guy, hit you. Oh no, the, this guy hit you. Oh, okay. okay yeah, sorry. this guy, this whipping is going to whip Aragorn. Um, so this guy's going to get a plus eight because he's a monster of a character. Easily gets to beat your AC with his whip and deals uh, about two d four damage. Uh, Kirito, that was at me. Um, the enraged guy right here, my ping. Um, so, uh, now, Aragorn, that's five, five points of damage to you. And then now the rolling that they just... Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and then now the rolling uh, was for the the, mo the boss guy over here to hit, uh, to swing his whip at Aragorn. Okay, um, I just realized we left the... He can't the fit where we're standing, right? Um, he could probably squeeze through if he tried. But he definitely couldn't fight if he was in that position. Um, he could, but he'd be at a different disadvantage, he'd be at advantage. Uh, but then again, he might just run in and grab you and rip you out. Um, I want to cast so... the... Oh, wait, it's not my turn. It's, it's Kirito's turn. turn. Yeah. Uh, okay, Kirito, your turn. Uh, you can. Yes. Hey, I love naked! Is it bad for me? I love it, I always drink it. No way! Oh man, me and Rose always drink it. We call it the Hitler juice. Oh, that's a soft bath for you. I question how much these people can hear me. He attacks both enemies in front of them. Uh, yeah, I'm aware, but I need a roll. Uh, tell them to roll twice. Roll twice. One for the higher and then one for the lower. Uh, the guy with the shield appeals to be better armored. Okay, uh, a 16 hits the guy above him, and... So yeah, that's uh, a hit. Guy below him, then. And that's also a hit. Uh, okay, so, so yeah, 1d6 so d plus 3. Just roll 1 and I'll apply it to both. Okay, yeah, 1d6 plus 3 and he'll just apply it to both hits. Yeah, 
hear some weird stuff going on in the background. Um, that, I, that's probably mine, I apologize. Uh, nice. Uh, sound like people talking or talking about Yeah. People yeah, talking. I apologize. You're gonna hear that off my. You hear that off something, my screen. Something about the drink naked. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, people, people talking about a drink called naked and they're saying it's bad for you and then like, oh, uh, the internet says something still, bad for you. He's still dipping it up here. How was that? Um, yeah, you, it was good. Uh, the damage was dealt to both. I yeah. So I want to cast the uh, fairy flame from so, big guy. Uh, you want to cast what, Aragorn? That. Uh, fairy, fairy fire. Fires. Cool. Fairy fire. Um, yeah, sounds good. Uh, he's going to attempt to dodge. He's not very dexterous. He fails. Uh, he is now glowing brightly. The, Who's that? Any creature in the area, so that gets the guy. Yeah. It, radius, so. Okay, so you want to hit this guy and this guy here? Get both those guys. Um, I think you realize ten foot is a, this thing. It's not this. That's ten feet. Radius, no. right? Uh, ten feet. Yeah, you see, see uh, where you are, so this is 5 so feet. It, uh, I, I get a pick a center. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, I cast it on the big guy right here. So it's okay. 10 feet out from there. Every square... It's 10 foot radius. Every it's 10 foot radius. It's 10 foot, oh, oh, 10 foot radius, okay. Yeah. So it's like, uh, I was like, uh, so that, that would mean it's a 20 foot square. You were thinking of a circumference. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that is a yep, 20 foot <laughs> square, so you can hit all three of these guys. They're going to try to dodge, then it's super dexterous. Uh, it's a yeah. failure and a failure. So all three of these guys are now glowing brightly. Uh, you don't even need a uh, a thing to see in the dark anymore. However, yeah. um, it's you get so, advantage on them too. You get advantage on attacking them exactly. Okay, yeah, so Kirito, what just happened was he cast that skill that he just pasted in the chat onto the big guy. He cast it, it all. He cast it on all three of these guys, and it all hit. Well, he cast it on the big guy, and then the radius hit the other two. No, no, right? you cast it. Does that on... now mean that Cruceris does not get a disadvantage on attacking them anymore? Uh, it means, yeah, it means that she has a normal attack now. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, um, so now, okay, so how, now however, now just remember going. that, uh, I, uh yeah. she, I, she, he, he cast it on the area, and they were just in the area. He didn't cast it on the guy, and there was area. Okay. Um, yeah, he cast it on area, it hit all three, sorry, um, Kirito. So, I want to, I want to finish my three. turn. And now everyone who attacks them has an like advantage, you. except for Griseris, who went from a disadvantage to a normal oh. attack. Shock! What do you want to do? You're oh, currently I, I on the ground. Move. Hold up, I wanted to move. Can I not move? Oh, cool. uh, you can, but this guy's going to attack for opportunity on you. I don't care. I want to move anyway. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to move. move. Back here. Right Ooh, there. Critical one. Okay, uh, this guy's also going to get attack for opportunity on you. This enraged okay. guy? Uh, you only get attack of opportunity when you leave a space, not when you enter a space. Uh, you had to sure, get to... different. When you were here and moved to here, didn't you leave a space? Oh, yeah, never mind. Well then... Oh, yep, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, 17 hits, Racy? Uh, 17 hits. Six points damage to them. Okay, here, so that was uh, attack of opportunity from this guy right here, and I hit him. Uh, shock! Shaka? Shaka Khan? Alright, sorry. I was Shaka drinking. Levelist, you better kill that guy that's right there. <laughs> On your turn. Or I might die. I'm gonna try. Cool, uh, we want you, buddy. You're on the ground. Is Shaka where it is turn? Dang it, I forgot that I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first you thing You look I, silly right now. Stand up. Cool. Uh, you do so? No, it's not. I <laughs> wish. I w it depends on the game. I'm gonna go with no for this game. Um, so which, I'm gonna stand up enemies don't and do I'm going to attack this guy. Cool, give it to me. The rage is strong. Uh, where's my pass rolls? That one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's your first attack? Let's see what your second does. You crit fail. Ooh. Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> that that <laughs> makes That's up funny. for it like three freaking ah. fold. Okay, roll three d eight plus uh. So just three d eight. Your second attack doesn't get that fit. So three d eight plus two. <laughs> plus two. Wait, plus oh, two. Wait. It would be plus five, right? Um, no, it would be plus two because uh. You this is your on your second hand. You don't get your bonus three. Because for my hand axe, it's a plus three. Plus two for my. It's right only a, it's only a plus three to your left hand or your right hand. Uh, and you hit him with your second one. 
Oh, uh, okay, got it. Yeah, critical ones in good hands. But uh, yeah, 3 d plus 2. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he, you slew his throat and he flies against the wall. Yeah, shot Nobody the jumps the on Shaka Khan! No. Uh, Levelies. Alright, uh, so... Gerseris is gone, so... I don't have anyone watching my back, and Aragorn had to retreat. Whew. Alright, I'm going to... She said she had to leave. Uh, I can't uh, I can't use my action surge anymore, right? Uh, oh, you can use it once per rest, yeah. Yep. If, you need, if you need health, you could use your bonus action to uh, healing. Heal. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not actually damaged yet, so... Yeah, you are, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, uh, not good. Gonna use it yet. Sure. Um... I guess I'm just gonna do basic attack on this guy right here. Cool. <coughs> uh, twelve. Uh, that is going to miss. Oh my god! Why can't I be accurate? <laughs> if you roll low, bro. Uh, Graceris is gone. Delk. Alrighty then. <laughs> Thank you, Ace Frenchera. Let this fire is moving. Okay. Oh, speaking of fire moving. All right. Well, I will just keep launching my ranged attacks right with ray of frost. So does that big guy up there get hit by the fire? Since he's yeah, that's the same thing. Um, he he he's too big to care. He has resistance against damage. Oh. And it doesn't do enough to actually hurt him. Oh. Um, 23. Nice. That, that's gonna hit whoever you're hitting. I'll be back in a moment. Cool. Uh, who are you attacking? This guy right here? Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and just start trying to pick him off, getting him out of here. Sounds good. Give me a one yet. And lovely rolls coming through. Beautiful. Okay, uh, so three damage to him. Still up. Uh, turtle troopers. Yeah, uh, these guys gonna attack. Um, uh, one's gonna attack this guy. Uh, the name is Shock, and the other one's going for a Kirito. So this was going for Shock, and this was going for a Kirito. Oh. oh damn. Okay, so Kirito, that last roll of 24 was this guy right here trying to hit you. Uh, this one's got coming to Kirito. Uh, uh, ten points of damage. He did ten points of damage to you. Uh, while against, um, five damage on you there, um, Shock. I take half. Okay, uh, two points of damage come to you. Man, isn't being, uh, being that awesome. Uh, Kirito, your turn. Your turn, Kirito. How's life, team? <laughs> you think you'll be able, able to actually take these guys down? Can you use both on the same enemy? Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, so you still have to roll two attacks, though. You do still have to roll two attacks. Uh, for individual damage and hit. Uh, miss. Miss. And hit. A miss. That, the 23 is a miss too? No, I'm just messing with you because you're saying things oh. before I say them. Uh, uh, that's a hit. Yeah, it's a hit. Okay, it's a hit. Um, so roll for damage. Uh, so it'd be 1d6. That's it. Uh, so one point of damage. Uh, and this, the, uh, he, he probably has two hand fighting, so that's. Yeah. It's fine. Um, Aragorn! Give me one second, I gotta look at something real quick. Sure. I'm assuming this is not Aragorn's turn, then? It is my turn. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna skip a turn and go to Shock. Oh, don't skip my turn, I'm looking at oh. something for my check. <laughs> sure. I'm uh, Shock, what do you wanna do? Cool, so, um. I want to try to see if I can figure out how to get both of them. Uh, I'll attack, attack, attack one, and then if he's not dead, attack the other. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna attack this guy. 
Cool. Give me a roll. Both hands. Uh, just roll with one. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, deal damage. His chances are you're gonna kill him. He's pretty badly wounded. Uh, so one d six plus. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, it's twenty six, right. not the eight. Okay, I was just confused. And I walk over his dead corpse and attack the ah. other guy. Yep. Oh. Oh, so nice. close. Give me some damage. Please yeah. do not have to kill him so y'all can go and take that oh, big guy right. there while I hold him. Oh, uh, were you hitting him with your nine main hand the first time, or...? Huh? Oh, because it's... No, no I was just... I, I, I forgot to add another two because of my rage. Okay. Uh, so it would be... seven points of damage this time. Oh, true, true. Yeah, but the other guy was taken down. Um, Levelys... Uh... Do I not get my turn, then, or...? Uh, you do get your turn. Aragorn, what do you want to do? Yeah, you I was gonna say, I'd actually rather just, wait to see what he does. You guys are separated, so, um, you, got, you two teams are separated, so there's no point in waiting for one if the other ones can, can do their action well, now. I'm, I'm gonna use my, uh, Radiance of Dawn, my Channel Divinity. Nice. Which is, which is that. <laughs> uh, Sunlight Banishing Darkness Red. Each hostile creature with 30 feet must see a constitution save. Ooh, nice. So, uh, 30 feet from you, so, boom. And that's no yeah, one down here. These guys are too far behind rocks, but you these guys can all get hit. Uh, unfortunately, most of them have really good constitution. Uh, boom. Boom. Yeah, they're all fun. Uh, they take half damage. To make a constitution save. Yeah, that's that's something wait, they can do wasn't, well. Wait, wasn't there four? Um, there's a fourth. Yeah, um, the big boss. Thirteen, uh, which I'm assuming is your thing. So they all take half then. Yeah, so they all take ten points of damage. Uh, this guy right close is going to be killed outright Blah, by burning holy light. Uh, these guys are not having a good time as they take ten. They begin getting horribly, horribly seared. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give the orcs a quick turn in here. Wouldn't uh, it blind them too? Um, yeah, it, it, they they have. Low light. light. Yeah, they, they have poor uh, poor accuracy with bright light. So this guy right here is going to try to run away, and uh, as he does so, um, the big guy just drops his head off. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, he does oh, not. Secure, he's not tolerant. What, what just happened was uh, that guy that just died right there uh, at the ping right there. He tried to run away from an attack that Aragorn did, and the big guy kills him. Uh, level these. Your okay. Turn. As soon as uh, I did this, am... Yeah, I am going to walk to this guy. Actually, no, 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 I am not. Um, I am going to throw my hammer at this guy. Cool. Give me a roll. Please hit. 13. <laughs> come on, come on. Have mercy. Uh, uh, he blocks with his shield easily. Alright. Oh. Delk, your turn. <laughs> okay. I, I, I can't heal you. Our cleric is what, Aragorn, right? What do you want to do, Delk? There's only uh, one guy left. Spot right here? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you will not invoke attack opportunity. Alright, I will move up there. And then, is there any way I could figure out if this big boss dude is weak to any sort of give, uh, you, element? You give me a nature check. Okay, and what, what would I be rolling for this? Uh, 1d20 plus uh, intelligence. I'm sorry, what was the die? Cut out. Uh, 1d20 plus intelligence. Okay. Alright, Kirito, he's rolling a perception check to see if he could, if the big boss is weak against anything. Nice. Oh, uh, the 17, uh, you know a bunch of things about them, uh, besides the fact that he's not, probably not very smart, and, uh, he'd probably have a weak wisdom, as well as a weak intelligence, and a very poor charisma. Um, you, you, you definitely know you want to attack those things, but besides that, you, uh, you, you, you don't know any of his specific weaknesses, besides the fact that he's probably blind now, due to the fact that Aragorn's light. Um, so you probably have poor attacks for right now. Okay. 
Yeah, um, so this guy's going to try to... I'm going to give him a perception check. Uh, minus one. Minus one. Ooh, wow, that was both really good. Meaning that he actually, despite... He, as he looks away, he manages to see the shadow of Delk beyond the fires. And uh, the fire spreads, by the way. Oh, no. And uh, he kind of gives out a smile, and he, go, he starts moving towards him. What? Wait, what, what, what did you roll for just now? Uh, I rolled Perception to try to see you, okay. uh, despite being blind, so I give him disadvantage, and he got a 14, which is really high. Uh, one, right. two, three, four. Uh, he gets to there, and he's going to slice you with his massive uh, machete. Um, this could be with a plus eight. Being 50. blind puts him at a disadvantage though, right? Uh, it does. Good call. Fifteen. Uh, I'm assuming that hits you, Delk. Your AC. I am eleven plus three because of my mage armor. So. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, okay. uh, so he he slices upwards like an uppercut, dealing thirteen points of damage, and uh, you fly onto a uh, shuck. Uh, most likely, um, incredibly wounded. Uh, just a, you're you're open from your from your crotch to the top of your head. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Aragorn, go help them. I'm pretty sure I can take on this last guy yeah. by myself. Uh, you 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 fall to the gr uh, you fall to the ground. Um, you you're still conscious, but you're just so wounded. You just kind of shake in pain. Zero HP. He has zero HP. Okay, He's just shaking in pain. Um, so Turtle Trooper, this guy, just very happy, uh, he's going to move in one more step, and he's going to take a whip at Delk. Yeah, uh, Kirito would just have to basically was the boss killed Delk. Is he still at disadvantage? Um, good call. Happy you guys keep reminding me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Are you kidding? It doesn't I, matter anymore. I roll high, guys. Accept it. Uh, so he rolls with his whip. Whips it out, hits you for seven points. Uh, it's halved because you are so about three points damage to you. Um, and this you guy's gonna me. You said Delg. Uh, I'm in, I, I'm in shock. Okay. So I take Wait, three so points of damage. Yeah. They'd be. <laughs> what happens if he's at a disadvantage and someone's uh, at an advantage? Then he rolls What's twice that? and you roll twice and. Uh, then whoever wins wins, but that, that's only in a contest. Okay. Uh, that, that, that kind of thing happens. Um, here we go! Here's a Cool, give me a roll. I forgot to attack with that guy, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like it. Skipped his turn. Whatever. He's probably just too wounded to care. Uh, Torch's gonna miss. Uh, you missed Kirito. I uh, can roll again for a second attack, though. And 24. Oh, that hits. So, uh, 1d6 plus 3? 1d6 plus 3. Can he kill him? Can he do it? Ah, he's dead. Cool, he died. Uh, I'd give him something descriptive, but he wouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> uh, Aragorn! What should I do? You think, uh... Yeah, uh, I should be able to take this guy by myself, right Aragorn. Yeah, you can take your turn right now. I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, you gotta say, Levelies, you have to say it in the Scottish accent. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I can't do Scottish, man. I'm too white. That's, that doesn't sound good. And we talk, they're whiter than white, Scottish people. <laughs> what are you I'm, saying? I'm, I'm, I'm too American white. There we go. Winner. Uh, what do you want to do, Aragorn? Right, cool. I'm gonna cool. move right there, and then cool. I'm gonna uh, use Celestial Bolt on the big guy. Sounds great. I don't know what I need to roll for that. Um, the magics? Roll, yeah, there you go. 22, uh, that's gonna hit. I'm at an advantage, too. Oh, yeah, you're advanced, so you can roll twice oh. and see if you get a credit. So roll, roll another one, 20, 20. Oh, wait, wrong thing. I rolled the wrong thing. Everybody at an there advantage? We go. Or is it? Nope. Uh, yeah, everybody you, is. Because he's glowing. Sure. Yeah. Um, so that's a 22, that's a hit. Uh, you deal 15, 15 points of damage. Them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you blast him with light, he kind of gives off a roar in anger. Uh, shock gun. Oh, no, no, I, I have a question. What's, what's he look like right now? Uh, what's he look like? Um, he looks like he's covered in wounds, but he's also gigantic, so it's hard to tell. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna step up to him. I'm gonna look him straight in the eyes. 
gonna try to slash at it, slash at his arm. Cool. Uh, which arm? Uh, I'm trying to get the whip out of his hand. Cool. Give me a roll. Well, do I want? I'll, yeah, I'll probably get the whip. Whip is like the his best thing. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. Cause two d ten damage, advantage. right? Yeah, you have advantage. Okay, so Kirito, he, he's rolling to, to disarm his whip hand. 19 okay, uh, that's for, the a hit. for the main hand. That's a hit. Um, oh wait, those are d6s, what? Wait. <laughs> are you rolling attack and then... That's funny. Uh, Alright, so there's the there's my first offhand. Yeah. And now... 16, does that hit? Uh, they both hit. I will allow you to disarm him, disarm or destroy his weapon in exchange for all the damage we're gonna do. Uh, can you can find I... out how much damage he would do? Uh, he, you're, off... he already rolled for it. It looks like it's gonna be, like, 15? Can I cut off his arm? Um, sure. Okay. Uh, so you managed to destroy his arm. Uh, so he... it's gonna do more damage than the whip, just so you know. <laughs> I know, I just, but the whip has more range, so I'm trying to get yeah. make sure he can't. Uh, he, he, he gives out a roar as you uh, take down his take his left hand off. Okay, I so roar yeah, right back at him. Uh, Levelies. All right. Um, I'm just gonna do a basic attack on the guy right in front of me. Sounds good. Come on, accuracy. Don't fail me. Yes. Blocked. Nah, you're fine. Alright, uh, and the damage I do is 11. Is he dead? Please tell me he's dead. Ah, he falls backwards. He falls uh, onto his shield as he dies. You can, uh, you, you, you can move. Cool. Uh, I'm going... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what, I'm 25, right? Yeah. Uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, and I'm good. Cool. Uh, well, no, no, uh, he did, obviously doesn't know I'm there, right? Um, I wouldn't say obviously, but he is blind at the moment, so he has difficulty seeing anything. And I'm also like behind. Him. Yeah. Okay. Um, but can I? I can't attack twice in a turn, right? Uh, now with your big weapon, now. Uh, can I throw my? Can I try to throw my hammer at him? You already did your big weapon, so. Okay. Right, uh, I'm good. Delk, uh, roll me one d twenty. Oh, that's not good. Um, so you, win? you are not win? you're knocking on death's door, my friend. Knocking on totally death's door. Roll that one. Um, <laughs> he's also right under fire, so. Yeah, and guess what? That's how he's gonna die if uh, if he can't make it these things three times in a row. Um, Kirito. Kirito, your turn. Oh wait, did the that's where the orcs didn't go. Oh, no, hold I'm on, never mind. Oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're dead. They're dead. Cool, uh, nah, nah. Um, uh, he's, <laughs> he's going to, uh, do one first action, it's going to be to roar out at you guys. Everyone give me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh does it, would, it, would it still affect me? That oh, includes levelies, yes. As he right. roars out. Okay, yeah, Delk fails. Aragorn's fine. Uh, you said you said wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom, yes. Uh, uh, shock is fine. I roar right back in his face. <laughs> what do I got? What do I got? Uh, fourteen. Uh, you uh, fail. Uh, you're at uh, advantage, though. Okay, so can you roll again? Uh, no, because even though he's blind, it's not. So, um, yep, that's a failure. So anyone who failed is now afraid of him. Uh, what's, uh which, what's which, the fear? Uh, it means you have disadvantage on attacks Ow. against him. And uh, you can, know. and you What's cannot. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a little skull. So basically, you get a normal attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, because he's blind. Uh, yeah, but also you cannot move towards him willingly. Yeah, you have to, You actually have to go out of your way to get away from him. You can't be within thirty yeah. feet of him. You're too scared to move forward uh, towards him. Uh, and with his second move, he's going to he's going to action surge and attack again, uh, specifically at Shakan. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. <sighs> what? <laughs> it would be so if he hard. if he Too got the, he can't he can't take the net one though. But he still hit for two d ten. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, beautiful. 
He just got nothing on me! Oh, that's one one point of damage to you. So Kirito, uh, Shock just barely survived getting hit by the boss just now. Yeah. As he as he slices downward, you just use into right into your leg. You kind of pull out your shoe and see that you went right between your toes. Can I can I say that like as he like pulled as he like he like nicked me on the shoulder and then I like used my axe to, like move his sword away? No. Um, <laughs> Kirito. No, sorry, uh, Kirito. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, the you boss don't, guy. You don't. I typed it to him. Oh well, I'm say why. Yeah, so, Are you so sure? Her, so yep, positive. 100%. What he did here, though, was On my thing, it says that they got to move away from you. Um, that, that's only if it's like a, like a, like a turn on dead or something. Oh. How long? So basically don't. the rest of the fight. Um. Because you is afraid. <laughs> Technically, it wouldn't be disadvantage since he's at more, since he's has advantage. Sure. Okay. So yeah. Can he move up? No, because he's afraid. Okay. But I can't move up. So we'd have to throw him. That's a hit. And a hit. And a six. Beautiful. Uh, so it lands right in his chest and gets embedded inside of him. It's, it's in his chest and it gets embedded there. Uh, Aragorn! Uh, you, can so gonna, you can see him kind of, he's kind of writhing around. He's hes uh, clearly on his last legs. Well, I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to use uh, my one cantrip to save Delk here. It gives cool. him one HP. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, Delk, you uh, kind of just breathe life into you as you open your eyes, and uh, you kind of just see the giant beast and just start screaming. Done. Well, hold on. Question: Since he was technically dead or unconscious or whatever during the the shout, is he still technically afraid? Um, uh, he he was he was incapacitated, not unconscious. Um, okay. so he's just so he, really not not having a good time. Okay, but he he did witness the shout, so he's yeah. technically afraid. Okay. Uh, shock. It's time to be a hero. Hey, All right. Him. You can kill him. I'm gonna can you? For his other hand now. Cool. Right. Give me a roll. Now he's gonna hit like when he cut up his other hand. I just hate the orcs being a badass. Uh, I see my main hand miss. That main hand hit actually. Hit? Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, now. And maybe you have, my you have advantage, hand. remember, because he's he is glowing. Seventeen. Cool. Why are you rolling one d? You got advantage. One. Wait, why is that negative one? I don't know why you're rolling what you're rolling. Oh, to be okay, honest. I know why. I know why, because I'm rolling, I was, I messed it up because I was rolling for the, uh, wisdom earlier. That's odd, don't do that. So, uh, either way, a 12 <laughs> and a 17 both hit. So, roll damage. Okay. Uh, so, uh, plus three, so seven? Seven? Ah, uh, beautiful. Uh, he is... No, his no, 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 wait, I haven't rolled it yet. I'm, this is my okay. bonus. Yeah. Plus seven. Plus seven, uh, yeah. 2d6 plus seven. 18 cool. damage. Cool. Uh, you easily chop off his right hand. Uh, he falls to his knees, blood gushing from his uh, from his arms. When he falls to his knees, I just look him straight in the face, and I start roaring in his face. Uh, he, he kind of attempts to roar back at you uh, before his body basically almost falls on top of you. Uh, he's right, so most likely either time. unconscious or dead. Uh, Shock just chopped off his other arm. And yeah, we just won. I put my I put my my leg on top of him, and I just let out a victorious roar. Cool. Uh, fast forward to ten years later, a painting of I'm sorry, uh, a painting of uh, a painting uh, hangs on Shock's mantle, uh, including the armor of the beast and uh, a, a, a portrait of you three surrounding him 
with shock uh, like with it. his leg on his, on his uh Not like I just to work on him or anything, nope. Uh, <sighs> You uh, in the background, lying you, down in the fire. You Burn. would uh, you would later return to the uh, return to the city, where you they would bestow upon you uh, treasures and rewards for destroying this great threat. And I'm uh, just over here trying to make my way towards the beast. Yeah. Uh, congrats. Yeah. I, want, I want to loot him. No. I want to loot um, him. Yeah, uh, on him is uh, it's all basically just basic poor quality steel. Uh, besides like gigantic oh. armor that's on him. You find nothing of real value. Um, you you would be able to. Uh, the the main value is uh, in what how you defended the blinking stone. In which case they would give you, uh, you know, treasures and, and various things of that nature. Okay, well, I want to cut his head off and put it in my backpack. Done and done. You'll need proof to the uh, to show whoa, the guys anyways. Whoa. I'm the one that retrieves the shrunken heads. <laughs> it's uh, bullshit. Shrunken. <laughs> and it's not shrunken. No, oh, you, right. you, you have to shrink it himself. So um. Congratulations, um, you have succeeded in defeating the great hordes of the orcs. Um, although there is there is more orcs, uh, they would most likely all uh, disperse uh, after having seen their by by having seen their great leader uh, killed. Um, so yeah, good game, and uh, that'll be it. Way to go, guys! That was pretty awesome. Cool. Um, uh, same goes the time, same dragon channel.